What's up, everybody? It's motherfucking Thursday. You know what that means? We're one day away from Friday, and it's almost a weekend. It's kind of shitty how there's only two days for the weekend. Anyways, today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by Division Street Auto. Division Street Auto is your one-stop shop for anything automotive and mechanical your vehicle may need, whether it's new transmission, new motor, oil change. Like right now, my window will go down. It won't go up. I'm probably going to take that there. Whatever it is, you can catch them at 595 Division Street in Pawtucket. Call them at 401-723-7080. Ask for George. He'll take care of you. Mention the J Squared Podcast. Get a nice 10% off all the labor. And whatever you save, do what you want with. Today is also brought to you by AJ Drywall and Plaster, my favorite thing to talk about. They will handle all your plaster needs, whether it's new construction, renovation, acoustic ceilings, whatever the fuck that is, um, new work, old work, whatever it is, man. And AJ, one thing that does set them apart, I will say, even though I don't, you know, know too much about drywall, but their customer service is impeccable. It's second to none. You know, I've actually heard customers say that they've tested out AJ and they'll probably never use anybody else. We're also brought to you by Topps Showroom and Galleria. They got your fix for everything lighting, whether it's a ceiling fan, whether it's a wall sconce, um, showroom lighting, chandeliers, lamps, outdoor lamps, indoor lamps, under cab lighting, whatever it is, LED, fluorescent, go check out Topps. They got what you need. You know, if you don't want to go check them out, give them a call. They'll actually come out to your place of business and take care of you. Call them at 401-861-0695. If you want to check them out, go to 120 Point Street in Providence. And last, but certainly not motherfucking least, Onlyville Tire, 6 Plainville Street in Providence. Onlyville Tire has been around since I think the 1920s. Fucking older than sliced bread. Go see Dory, they got new tires, they got used tires. They got two tires, four tires, whatever kind of vehicle you got, they take care of. And you mentioned the J Squared Podcast ad. She's going to hook you up with a little tire gauge, pressure pen, thingamajiggy. You can write with it, test the tires out, use it to pick food out of your teeth, whatever the fuck you want. Just go see Dory. Tell her the J Squared Podcast sent you. Other than that, boys, we're through the ads. I'm happy to say we got the lovely Patricia LaSalle on the podcast today. And she is a really, I guess the best way to say it would be strong, independent, cultured, black woman to kind of balance out some of this um, ignorance that Jay and I spit to you most of the time. So hopefully you enjoy her perspective. We're going to have a lot of fun. This was a really great, really great episode and enjoy. Time to talk some shit with the J Squared Podcast. Here we go. All right, so I have to ask, what's your take on politics? No, <laughs> is there a reason that you don't want to talk about politics and race or what was uh, the third one? Religion? Religion, religion. Sensitive uh, subjects. Not that it's sensitive. Well, you no, know, it's a matter of opinion for everyone. Yeah. And it just, you know. You don't want to offend anybody? And most of it, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> they fit right in. I like, I like the honesty. Yeah. <laughs> so like, fit right in here. A lot of it's they're just distractions. Um, and it's not that I won't talk about it. I'll, I'll chime in from time to time in close groups. But I am selective of what I say. Well, lucky for you, this is a close group of four. Plus, we have about 13 subscribers. So Wow. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> like double digits, <laughs> crack that shit. Now, we don't have to, you know, we don't have to go down that road. Um, we were kind of, before you got here, we were unclear about what you do because george thought it was interesting that you you know mentioned like hey let's not talk about politics but you're in politics yes are you in politics because i thought you just worked for the school i don't know exactly what it is that you do it's that i i work in the environment of politics so you kind of have to you know go with the flow and you have to you know hold yourself um in a certain way and you have to just be you know cognizant of mm-hmm. what you say and what you do because you are a representation of of the public that you serve. So That's a good point. So whether you someone chooses to be political or not, you still have to hold yourself 
in a certain light. That was loud. My bad. <laughs> that was probably really loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, I totally, I totally understand what you're saying. Like, if you just, you don't want to, just like a, a lot of political levels, mm-hmm. positions, mm-hmm. you just don't want to be associated with certain things. Yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, because you'd be surprised, you know, your it could affect you best friend or your you know greatest opportunity can come along and your matter of opinion or your viewpoint really could take you out so all right so if you have to you don't have time to think about it you just have to answer what's in your heart who's the better president trump or obama oh god obama oh you hesitated no she's a i didn't hesitate she's a trumper i said oh god i can't even like <laughs> trump's face didn't even come into like my visual <laughs> Interesting. What a swing we had. What a fucking like 180 degree turn we went from just somebody that was really polished and well spoken and charming. Great orator. Like just he could speak. <laughs> Dude, you know what well, you know what they yeah. say though? Is yeah. it's tough because we're so like you could say as as Americans, the maj- it's tough to think, aside from JFK, like a more popular loved by the people president than Obama. You know, like people still really love him. You crazy what, Reagan. Hold on. All right, since Reagan, then who's you know it is what it is. It's still it's Bill been Clinton. a while. Stop. I mean, I I admire Bro, people Bill love Bill Clinton, right? Because he got his dick sucked in the White House, right? Right. But Obama, I mean, he, black people, I think we consider that. <laughs> yeah, that's After why they, they started getting locked up. They're like, impeach. We're about to vote him <laughs> like, again. Fuck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Monica. Yeah. Yeah. And his accent. They're like, <laughs> the people were like, man, we're fucking suffering, and the president's getting his dick sucked in the office. <laughs> Like, hey, you fucking asshole. Can you stop oh doing that God. so you can take care of us? Right. Nah, you can't really fault the guy for just getting some... No, I don't. I don't. Play. Like, if we were the president, we'd it all just be doing the Hillary. same by like, our lives, obviously. All I think about when we're talking about this is, like, the camera's on Bill. Like, okay, we just realized that he got his dick stuck in the White House. And then it slowly focuses on Hillary because she's not sucking his dick. Like, she ain't doing it right. <laughs> I mean, she's not doing it right. It's... <laughs> Back to what I was saying. So fucking, you know, like Obama's a really great public speaker. He's super charming. Charming. He's charismatic. I bet you he got his dick sucked too in the White House. I'm not even kidding, dude. I bet you all, every president does. I bet you they fucking like stand on the fucking desk. They're just like, I'm positive yeah. Michelle rocked this world. I oh yeah. A strong, loving black woman, and any strong, strong loving right. black woman is gonna take care of them, man. And they're gonna do it better than any woman than any other woman could do. So I'm positive Michelle gave him. She gave him the business. That's my take. And That's this is where Jay and I are president. fucking starstruck right now. I don't know what to <laughs> <is that? laughs> All right. So this is going to be an interesting transition, but that brings me to Hitler. So be- <laughs> what kind of segue is that? <laughs> so, but going back to, you know, how good of a speaker Obama was and how charming he was, the history books and a lot of people say that, you know, Hitler was the same way, obviously. You have to be to convince. Oh, he was a people. very convincing, great but, you speaker. Know, yeah. It, this is going to sound crazy, but I mean, I, I'd love to just watch the shit that he said and see like how did you brainwash so many people but I, I read something i think i was probably only 16 or 17 that said he used to be able to make women orgasm just by publicly speaking who said that a man yeah right <laughs> really Can you- i want facts i want a documented instance of a woman having an orgasm oh. from Hitler speaking, <laughs> and I also oh, want to know. I also want to know counts of how many presidents got their dick sucked in the White House. How many presidents have we had? Forty-five. It's forty-five. Forty-five. Bro, if that one is probably like six. She's probably like ninety million years old right now. I don't want her count. Like I don't want her to tell me. <laughs> like fucking dust coming out. He's of like shit. find a YouTube oh, clip. Like find find her. Let's get her here. <laughs> we want to talk some shit. You just see the clip of that chick from the end of the lady from Titanic. <laughs> It was, I was 12 years old. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Man. So how do you like working in politics, Patricia? (laughs) Has his good and bad days. What what, what position do you hold? Was it an elected position? I don't work. Like, I work. So in terms of my nine to five, I'm the confidential executive assistant to the superintendent. That's a badass title. Mm-hmm. Confidential, so they keep your just secret. Just that I can't talk about what Shit. goes on. Yeah. So what can't you talk about? Like, <laughs> like I just can't. Why talk you ha- about you carry a security about. clearance? No. Oh, it's true. I am the security clearance. <laughs> no. What are some <laughs> things you can't talk about? <laughs> just like the day to day, like what's going on, like you know, with the with the with the city, with the with the like what? Give us some info. Now. Oh man, I thought I had that one. Well, and what city was that? Yeah, we're cutting the budget. TV we're cutting the budget for Spanish people. What budget? All the budget. Hmm. 
What, what, what city is that for? Uh, <laughs> Providence, the largest urban district in the state. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nice. Actually, that seems, that makes sense. If you ask me what the yeah. largest urban district in the state was. I would think it would be Westerly. I was going to say like Chipachet. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to West Greenwich? Yes, I love it's it. It's fucking like, it's white as shit out there. Listen, I want to buy, a, I want to build a home in West nah, Greenwich. Nah, don't, don't go out no, there. No, I want to be away from last. everything. A lot of camping ground. I You're not even it. getting pulled over. You're just getting shot. Oh, I was dri- driving down <laughs> route. <laughs> is it Route 3 that goes through West Greenwich? That's what I'm trying to say. I want to just buy up land out there and and gentrification will happen in 20 years and my name will be all over it. <laughs> and that's it. Just that. What's that main road that goes through West Greenwich? Is that three? Oh, fucking no. I think I was driving that, down. And is I that like, east of the river? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> idiot, man. Jeez. <laughs> no, but I, the only memory I have of West Greenwich is, you know, and I'm, I grew up in Pawtucket, you know, so, so I've been in the East city my whole life. So I go pick up my buddy in West Greenwich and I pull in his driveway. I get out of the car and he walks outside with no shoes on, and then fucking chickens are coming at me. Nice. And I'm just like, bro, what's going on? Like, like, running, like animals, like, or are you talking about chicks? So I'm uh, I'm backing up, and I'm like, yo, what's good? He's like, don't worry, they won't. I'm like, what do you mean? They're fucking pecking at my feet right now. He's like, come in, come in. I'm like, where are they going? He's like, those are mine. What? Mm. We're going to eat them? Like, why are they here? He's like, man. Did he, eat, did he kill them and eat them? I'm sure he did, you know, oh, and use their eggs, too. To yeah. You're not a vegan? No. Oh, how dare you? All of our vegan no. supporters would be so mad at you I right know. now. So we we'll peed at them too. Do we have one? We got, <laughs> hey, hey, we got a new we got a new Instagram <laughs> follower today. A new Instagram follower there. Um, what's, what do you call it? A, their username is Vegan Social Justice Warrior. You're <laughs> lying. You can check Shut it, dude. Up. I go. This motherfucker does That's not crazy. know what they're in for. So Google, how do you ban an Instagram person? <laughs> no, we don't want to ban them. We want them to fucking see everything, man. We, we want to open their eyes. Didn't we have this conversation, man? We want to provide them with insight. <laughs> We should have somebody that's vegan on the show. Mm-mm. Yeah. I can get definitely. you someone that's vegan. She's bad. Yeah. You know who's vegan? Who? She's a fucking badass. I love her so much. Brittany. Oh, Angel. Trunks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Trunks. yeah. You should get her on the show. She is gorgeous. I love her so much. She's such a good woman. Married. So, it doesn't matter how gorgeous she is. <laughs> I don't understand why vegans but your always... your <laughs> focus was vegan. <laughs> I don't understand why vegans always have to tell you that they're vegan. I don't know why sex sells so much in America. Task. I go, we need a vegan it's on the show. Like, like, that's goes, a lot of work. I know somebody who's bad as no. fuck. Were you with me the night we were at the uh, fucking Amanda's? Late at night or whatever. <laughs> somebody, somebody we were there. Oh, S- Scott was with us. Scott. That's right. Oh, we gave all oh, this. She's like, dude, he's just, sir, would you like something? Like, can I get you something to eat? He's, he's like, like, I'm vegan. We're like, shut the fuck up, bro. Take some water. Not what you asked me. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> that's not what I asked you. Nobody gives a fuck, man. <laughs> Tell you right? want some fucking toast or whatever right? the fuck you eat. I don't think some it was fucking that, celery. You know, like that prominent of him just saying, I'm vegan. I don't, I don't, that's I all I remember. remember. You know, he was asking like, oh, does this have that? And you know, is this made with this? Yeah. And we're like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, well, I'm a vegan. Here's, I mean, you're a vegan. We, we look at it like, you know, stop pushing your beliefs on me, <laughs> right? We look at it like you don't have to just push your now? belief on me no, all the time. It's the name now. It can be. I thought it was an adjective. Yeah, I'm a vegan. I'm no. A- so yeah, it, it is an adjective. But it became, he's like, oh, hey, what are you doing? Oh, in front of it becomes a noun. Hey, what's right? a verb? I'm ve- it's a verb. Oh, no. We're going veganing. I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. Yes, I don't know. Come in, gang. We're going veganing. Um, so the, what I, what I, like, like a, a debate that I saw, I, I thought there was a really interesting uh, side on it because my side is like, get the fuck away from me with vegan bullshit. Like, I like meat. I don't care if you want to eat, you know, vegetables and lettuce all day. I'm not going to bother you. Don't bother me. Don't judge me. Yeah, and that's how I always felt about it. But then this dude kind of sunned me because he like, don't force my views on you. He goes, bro, you force your views on people so hard that you're willing to kill animals just to satisfy your taste. So who's really forcing their views? And I was like, blocked. <laughs> I'm not like, this motherfucker I'm anymore. I'm processing that. I'm like, I'm not like, fucking what? talking to this. I just felt like I was like, all right, good point. I'm still going to eat bacon. No, wait a minute. Like, dude, go up. blow a pig. Like, whatever. What did he say? <laughs> you're you're forcing your views he on was, folks because... No, no, no. He said you're, you're forcing your views on life so hard that you're willing oh. to kill just to satisfy, like, your taste. Like, your views are eating meat. And you're willing to, like, impose those views so hard that animals are dying so you can eat the meat. But that's what they're there for, for us to eat. That's a selfish, interesting way of looking at it. But that's but what, they're that's what they're there for. <laughs> that's <laughs> why animals are made. I mean, I get, trust, like I said, I'm a meat eater. I, I mean, don't I'm probably going to get for that, so I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> hey, you know, like, <laughs> but, you're not like what else do you do with animals? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it, it depends whether or not you're from, like, I, <laughs> I had some parakeets. It depends if you're from, like, you fry them up. 
<laughs> hey, Filipinos eat dog. I'm not even lying. I heard Filipino. I got some. I saw some videos eat, online. A lot of, of Asian, uh, like Pacific Island countries, eat dog. Yeah, I eat a dog, Filipino. no problem. Like when you. But how are we gonna judge them? We can't. To them, that's like every you day. I like, you know, how I, I no. discovered that watching Faces of Death. In the 90s. Oh, do you remember that shit? Oh, my. It was awful. I went to the Blockbuster, the VHS. <sighs> banging at the tape. monkey's head with a hammer. Oh, you got All the, the Asians were around that table with yeah. that monkey going Hungry wild. And, shit. and that was like culture for them. They were just cracking the skull open the while monkey, the thing was dude, alive. Too close to a human. And they, they said, put like a table around the monkey's head like and this. And the neck to right there. Yeah. And they and just then, crack his yep, Why are you guys watching alive. the sick shit? Like, and I was just watching porn and comedies. <laughs> Why are you guys watching monkey torture videos? Oh, my God. Because we're fucked up generation, man. I remember the episode about the puppies, how they were killing the little puppies. Puppies. The most disturbing part of that episode of the puppies was when the commentator said, "All I was missing was a biscuit to slop up the gravy." Ugh. <laughs> I, I was like, Damn, where the fuck is that guy's mind? <laughs> you guys seen that video of that chick that had a bucket of puppies and she's throwing them in the river? It's like in fucking I don't know no. Lithuania or something. I never seen that. Poland or Russia or whatever. It's it pretty disturbing. Why was she doing that? I don't know. Maybe she's she wants to be a quarterback. Maybe she was feeding know. the fish. Oh. Feeding the Crocs. I mean, they probably eat that shit. But then, speaking like, of Crocs and puppies, my cousin's on puppy. No, it wasn't a puppy, but a small little shit zoo. Got um, <laughs> eaten by a. You crocodile. like really enunciated shit zoo. Shit, <laughs> shit, shit zoo. Zoo. <laughs> it's a zoo of shit, folks. Like I just say, like sh I try to melt it all. Shit zoo. Shit zoo. Shit zoo. She's like shit. Zoo. My little shit <laughs> zoo. <laughs> 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 like you own a fucking zoo and it's they all shit. They've caused me so many problems <laughs> in my life and I have pit bulls. And they've done, you know them damn dogs. You have pits? I have pits. Damn. I have a blue nose. I have one left really? actually. His name is Kush. Kush. Not He's gorgeous. <laughs> like I gotta admit, That's that would be my one. top three guesses for your dog's name would be Kush. And the other one was Blueberry when I passed away. Aww. Blueberry Kush. Blueberry Kush. Blueberry Kush. <laughs> They were perfect. That's awesome, George, from the back with just a satisfying... So you're all about the flower, huh? <laughs> Where was I going with that? So you have pit bulls. Um, what do you, what's your take on pit? That's a pretty controversial dog breed. You know, a lot of yeah. people think that it's unfortunate they that's should controversial. be banned. Wasn't there a ban in Rhode Island? Or was there was a ban in Pawtucket yeah, and a few cities, Pawtucket. but they, but they lifted that ban a couple of years ago because then, they found it discriminatory. Well, but a lot of people, because a lot of people feel that, oh, that, you know, you can't judge the dog based on that. You know, it's the owner. Blame the breeder, not the yeah, but that's not, somebody's But that's pet. not really. <laughs> what well, they do is they impose like, you know, um, above unusual, like, you have to get insurance, registry, have them registered. Like they make a dog. They, they make it really make difficult. You, you yeah, jump they make hoops, you. So. Wait, wait, because of this breed, or you talking about just breed. any dog? No, because of this breed. Oh. Like for you know, you have to put on mm -hmm. your homeowner's insurance and shit like that. And that I had a problem with that. Why? I because it was so goddamn expensive to have. It's a pretty because big the dog was having that vicious labeled dog labeled as vicious. They're not any longer, but at the time they were. So it's not like well. It's not a liability. You know, it's a liability of lab them Labradogs and those shits. People are <laughs> liabilities. They're so pretty, though. Those Labradoodles. They're so cute. Isn't it funny how we're just so racist against animals? Oh, racist against animals. Or prejudice oh against animals. <laughs> Preg you know? That's, no, how about a species or something like that? Spe you're specious. You know, like, like a new word. You can see a puppy. You're like, oh, that's a cute puppy. But if a fucking rat runs by you, what the fucking rat out of my <laughs> Try to fucking hit it with a flash Imagine water. Some, a cute like little kid ran by you. Get this kid out of here. You know, like... You know, you're like, like, like a rat you, with a you, bro, if, <laughs> you kid, water. if you had kittens in your house, you'd do everything. You'd probably take them to the pound, let them outside, whatever. Not me, bro. But hold on. Hear me out first before uh, before you do that. With mice, <laughs> they actually place little devices that Traps. break their neck. And we're just like, yeah, we'll get that motherfucker. Or we glue them to shit that they can't oh, just move bro. and they just die. Listen to me. Man, last year, we had, you know, we had mice in the winter. Is we had it? a few mice get in the house. And I thought I was doing the right thing, you know, like that poison would just give them a nice painless death that, you know, they would... Your whole shit eat. smelled, right? No. So I'm trying to be nice about it, you know, I don't want their necks humane. broken. Humane, you're trying to be humane yeah, about Yeah, so yeah. I fucking, I hear a rat one day run behind my my television entertainment center. Like, I'm not a rat, a mouse. <laughs> fucking boom, I pick it up. We're I'm like, oh my God, dude. So I'm holding this mouse trap and the mouse is glued to it, it but it's still away. alive, dude. And I'm just like, oh, all right, let me just take it outside, you know, like, and let it live. You know, I'm just trying to help it out. How'd you get you took off the trap? <laughs> you just, yeah. Throw the like, trap outside? Wait, no. <laughs> Good luck. No. This is going to be crazy. You so know, broke every limb hey. off the damn rat. Live Listen. your life, mouse. Best of luck. So here's, here I am, you know, trying to be humane, and I'm looking out for this mouse. 
Dude, I start to pull it off and separate it from the fucking glue here. And when I tell you that I pulled and it felt like a sausage encasing coming off the meat, like its flesh just stuck to the thing oh and its fucking well. fur pulled back. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Bro, I panicked because I feel like I just... What I did you do? To, like, I threw it in the field. <laughs> That's always the answer. That always makes the situation I, totally better. What was I going to do, bro? I would at that point. I can give it surgery. <laughs> what could I do, bro? I felt, Wait, so, I, no, I felt so bad. No. So I punched it. I tried to so, do the right thing. I'm like, no, oh, let me give this so the another thing you, chance. There's only one thing you can do in that situation. and I Kill it. When I had a mice problem, I had the glue trap set up. And I, I woke up in the middle of the night. I can hear. So I said, what the so I found the damn thing on the trap. I went outside on my balcony and I put it outside. It was summertime. I put it on yeah. the balcony Ooh. so we could just be, you know, out there. I went to fucking <laughs> out in hear nature. It. Well, Yo, that's so I went the next morning to Something go get it, thinking it was, you know, hopefully dead by this point. And it was gone. The mouse, the trap, everything. <laughs> a what? bird must have came. <laughs> Swoop that yeah, some mouse ate it. Hey guys, call on his. Okay. There's like a mountain lion walking around with a trap on his tongue. <laughs> God damn. So from after that, I just I put him in plastic bags and put him in the trash outside and like, let him go. I did let yeah. one moss go that I caught like in my hands out in the sewer. Caught in your hands? Savage. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't do it. No That's that Puerto Rican in your blood. I couldn't do it. Must <laughs> be. Fucking crouch down looking at that. <laughs> you are right though. We we don't have sympathy for certain animals, and we have. You know, well, you know, sympathy for give some. Us babies, oh, though. back back to pickles. <laughs> puppies don't give us babies. Back to pickles. Again? So right. if it's infested at birth, I guess. The raccoon bites it or yeah, something. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways they can get rabies. Yeah. But I want to talk about pickles for a second because you you said you can't blame the breed. You have to blame the breeder. Yes. But definitely. we can't. It's a nurturing thing. Well, but can we discount that certain animals and certain um, species of animals? just have different genetics you know they yeah it is not pit bull though they're not it's not the pit bull the absolutely not they're hunting they're hunting breed don't get me wrong and you know my dogs will hunt any animal they've killed pigeons they've killed dogs that so these are not yard. vicious pit bulls but they're not oh no <laughs> don't get me wrong if you come into my house and you're welcome then he knows you're welcome and there's like, dead animals you. everywhere <laughs> my i think i know where that dead mouse went patricia <laughs> However, <laughs> if I feel if, if I'm later. walking my dog and I can just feel and I feel nervous with your presence if you're walking by me or you give or for whatever reason I start to become nervous, my dog will sense that he will become defensive and that's when he'll become protective. See, that's a problem. But no, it's a problem for you. Yes. Yeah, but because, that's a problem because for society. Because they're that no, well. Because you you're it's a problem a for society. Well, you of your because animal. Your you have emotions, to have control. Of but what if your emotions are not in check and you're just nervous? And you shouldn't be nervous because no, my intent is No, because you're not nervous you. when you're walking with your dog. I don't feel... I mean, I haven't had that happen, but I'm saying is when I'm walking with my dog, people are crossing the street. They're nervous nine times out of ten. Oh, fuck that. I want that lawsuit. <laughs> I'm in there. <laughs> that dog bite me right now. But the only way he would bite you is I had ordered him to. Oh, shit. You got a fucking... You have a disciplined dog? Is that what it is? Oh, like, it's, yeah. it's, What's your order? Would you say yeah, get him? Sick him? Well, it's no, like because I remember, dance. like, I'm that's kind of scary. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do if you're walking and somebody has, like, a, a vicious, bloodthirsty pit bull and then they just go, Sick. That's all it is. I open that back uh, door and he goes darting out. And whatever's moving in that yard is done. I would do what that runner did to that fucking mountain lion. I would fucking Yo, break you, its neck. Yeah, you know, <laughs> no, definitely. Chance, bro, a mountain, wild, mountain lion dog up, is way so more man. vicious than a pit bull, bro. Yeah. Well, either way, Jason. Either way. Yeah, you're dead. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I will try my hardest. I will try my hardest. He's just gonna like pop prance away with you dangling from his jaw. <laughs> I would try to rip open like its fucking mouth There's like King Kong. Jag. Oh my god! Break his jaw. Yeah, Pitbulls have pretty strong bite forces, don't they? Yeah, yes. you pr well, probably. All right, so let me give you a, a quick story. So my neighbor, she had these little dogs, and she would open her door up, and there's a leash law in Providence, and I would tell, tell her. You need to put the dogs on a leash, you know, and they're for your protection, not my dogs. But she would not listen, and she would constantly let her dogs out. So you one, one. So one day, huh? so one day, I have eight foot fence in my yard, and they're chained. So my That's house good. is secured. I don't play that. So you're about the wall. Um, no, absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> <Segway>. <laughs> Off the wall, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so one morning, my my children wake up to get ready for school, and I hear a scream, and I hear a screech. 
and I run downstairs and I see my daughter in the kitchen with her eyes wide open and like her ears covered like in shock and I look and my dog Kush has a little dog in his mouth and he's mm -hmm. wagging his tail the little one now this is the same this is the neighbor's dog that Oh. Once again, violated the law, the city law, and the dog came into my yard underneath the fence. Are you still held liable? Nope, because she came into my property. Oh, oh right, right, right. Well, that makes well, sense then. She, but so, if your dog was well, outside she didn't call the property, police. Oh, yeah, then I'd be liable all day. Even oh, if yeah. her, she's off the leash and blah, blah, blah. We were both were in trouble. Yeah. We both were in trouble. Regardless on, you know, my dog's bigger than her dog, we both violated Right, 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 right. She was just at the disadvantage. Yeah. Right? Um, so, she comes to my house. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm yelling at my kids, get in the house. She's knocking on my door. And see you, go ahead. No, so then I, I open the door. I say to her, if I don't open this door, she's gonna call the police. The police are gonna come, they're gonna take my door. I was just, you know, my mind's racing. You're racing, yeah. I thought for certain I was gonna get into a fight <laughs> with my neighbor. I thought for certain I was ready. I mean, I still I haven't even brushed my teeth yet, but I I put my You're about my to throw down. On. It's six o'clock in the morning, outside. my dog just killed her dog. <laughs> And she says, now mind you, she's out the window calling for Snoopy before she comes to my house. She's calling for her daughter. Do you hear her calling? I can't hear her. So I told my children, get in the house. It's probably a perfect No, do you, no, at that time, do you know that her dog is in, my in your mouth. dog's mouth? Yeah. Yeah. And Damn, I was like, sucks. what the fuck? So I was upset about that. So she, op I opened the door and I was like, what? And she said. <laughs> what, bitch? That basically. <laughs> and she said. Was that my dog? I said, I don't know what the fuck your dog looks like. Oh, <laughs> that's the first thing I said. I didn't want to admit the shit. Right. <laughs> Although smart. I knew it was a dog. No, that's that. That's that uh, street smart coming right out of you. <laughs> and then she was, he was brown. He was, that was your dog. <laughs> that, yeah, that like, well, boy, the dog in my dog's mouth is red. <laughs> and then, so any moment <laughs> like, I'm thinking, Don't worry, he's got a fast metabolism. <laughs> oh my goodness. Any moment we'll I'm him. saying to myself. We'll give him back right after he's done. <laughs> She's gonna call the police. She starts apologizing. I'm so sorry. In my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm off the fucking hook. I'm yeah. so sorry. I don't know what got into Snoopy. Blah, 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 blah. Snoopy. So she was apologizing She's that apologizing your dog to ate her. And asked me not to tell her children that it was my dog, because they loved my dog as well. That it was my dog that ate oh, their so dog. That's a problem, that sheltering so, the kids. Yeah, so I came home that they afternoon and they had a ratty little, mad little. It looked like Splinter from the Ninja Turtle. Was it Ninja Turtles? Rat? A little oh, no. Chihuahua. They replaced yeah. it that quick. Those are fucking vicious little dogs, man. Little Chihuahuas. You know so what's good about having a small dog is like they leave small shits and you know they don't take a lot of <laughs> fucking food and all that other stuff. That is true. But the I other part that. that sucks is that they're small and they're fucking useless and they, they yap. Pierce right through know. your skin with the little yeah. teeth. Yeah, well, that's Chihuahuas why you like gotta shake go and fucking I grew, shit. I grew up with Chihuahuas. That's the funny yeah. thing. Yeah, just no dog. You know, you can live like me and not think that we're entitled to just take an animal and trap it in the house. That's oh, I definitely think we're entitled. So, because we're humans, I'm a pedist. You <laughs> 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 with pet ownership? <laughs> How do you feel about that? You think that humans have a just a God-given right to dominate other fucking species? Natural uh, selection, uh, yeah. You know, like <laughs> animals, cows, uh, and yeah. Well, I think we, so too. Hey, Some people don't. Some people believe fault, that, like, you know, opposable thumbs. You know, yeah. if dolphins had thumbs, bro, they probably fuck us up. Natural selection, dude. as you just said. Yeah, you know, it That's is what, what it is. It's the order. The, it's the pecking order. What are you gonna do? That's it. Nothing. But, then, but like sometimes when I'm talking, I say what's like, gonna you know, happen when something else animals are for for human for human use. They're just just tools. They're just that's not what they they're for. But that's what I think so. I don't think that's what they're for. They, they were. I don't think they were made for that. But I think that we've definitely adapted to use them for that. You know, whatever we need them for. You know, but it's just kind of an unanswerable question. You know, well, some people get you know upset when they see like a fucking yeah. Because you know, some people think oh we should all live in harmony. But yeah, I mean, I I try to you know I don't want to. I appreciate the sentiment. Yeah, I mean it it is what it is. You know, like I like, understand that. I respect all those hippies back in the seventies and sixties and shit. I'm like, damn. A bunch of you thought that, like, that's pretty cool. They just like all thought, like, love, peace, and whatever. Everyone has yeah, a role to play. Like, we can still think everyone love, has peace, a but we can play. also think that, you know, there has to be some form. Like, a lot of people are against hunting, and they feel like it's cool to animals, but you have to manage overpopulation in some way or form. You know, like, we're even doing, we even do it Well, with I think nature games. does that. Well, nature does that as in, like, we're natural and we hunt them, you know? No, I'm but, saying, like, just you die off and disease and shit like that no, like, I mean, there's, there's to happen, a lot of happens. places where like wolves will overpopulate the fuck out of a community if they're not oh, hunted like in, or deer like in know? east greenwich right, right. Like but isn't that nature that's like natural yeah 
Right, but I mean, as a human, a dude, we don't just want, island, actually, we don't want deer around. everywhere. You know, we want to manage that population, and we have the ability to. So it's oh, still that's a natural why you have selection. Fly swatter. You know, it's still a natural selection. Like we're natural. If a deer came over here, I'd just smack it with my fly swatter. A deer would fuck you up. <laughs> you can't <laughs> this shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> like stand up, and be like wow. Remember, shit. That, remember the video that we got a fly swatter. Kangaroo, you ever see that video? Yes. That motherfucker <laughs> threw a right hook at that kangaroo. Dude, how fucking crazy that? It's <laughs> funny as that? shit though. <laughs> oh my god, I love that because he's like, what? and he's still like ready to go. He's like, let's do this. Kangaroo's like, nah, I'm good. Man. No, no. Oh, What's even more crazy is though, like before he does that, the kangaroo has the fucking dog in like a mm. headlock. Headlock. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? What is that kangaroo doing? You trying to take his wallet? What are you doing? And then he's like, fuck this, lets him go, and then that dude's just like, bow. Those kangaroos like, oh, have some fucking like, crazy like talons on their fucking fan, huh? like on their hands. What kangaroos? Yeah, they got, like, I think on their feet, claws. right? Maybe it might be their feet. They can also punch with a crazy force, right? I'll fucking knock a kangaroo no out. No chance, dude. Stop. Bro, you see this? No, actually, I think they hit you I with their tail. See this shit. They don't hit you with their tail, bro. What is this yeah. a cartoon? You think, oh, no, they got like red gloves on, and they hit you with the hook. That's the hook shot. I think so. That's crazy, though. That like, just thinking about how do kangaroos get the fuck over in Australia, and they're not like, are they anywhere else? They just secluded in Australia. Probably climate has a lot to do with something like that. They're like, oh fuck, it's cold. Let's go down to Australia. Maybe in a zoo somewhere, or maybe Africa. Maybe they're in Africa. I know where the side. There was I don't know. I'm not. I'm not going to give into this. Are there kangaroos in Africa? I don't know. I'm always a lot, you know. Who cares about Africa? (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding, everybody. Kidding. So racist, man. Speaking of Stop. Africa. Don't even make jokes like Who that. Who has done their 23 like and me? If you, think, I, hey, if you think I'm racist, just listen to episode 8. The what? I'm sorry? Have you done your DNA, the 23 and me? No. Testing? I will not do that. You won't do it. He's afraid his parents lied no, his whole life. I'm going <laughs> to... He finds out he's half black. He's <laughs> mom. I am half black. I am half black. Dad. I really am. My oh, bottom half. Yeah. Nobody saw that hey, coming. So, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Hey, is I'll tell out. you why I won't do it. You know that whole DNA, whatever. I Law enforcement is using it now to. Yeah. Oh, you got some. You got some. You got some shit going down. You got. Well, no, but I mean, like, you. I might. <laughs> I'm not saying I do. Wait, what? I'm. I'm saying like. To so let me give you this fucking story, He's right? Funny. This is. I'm gonna. This is. This all connects. <laughs> this guy, right, got caught in fucking Warwick for killing this 66, uh, 66 year old man like five years ago, whatever. Okay. And how they caught him. Was a, one of those ancestry dot yeah, com perfect through I'm glad the murderers happened. through the murderers right. like family member yeah. and they're like I saw I read those well, stories this guy has that's fucking that that's, that's DNA great, it, and it kind of matches this guy's even though the murderer wasn't in the system wasn't in the no DNA but they were able system to narrow it down who by his family could have, yeah that's, crazy. that's perfect so I'm not trying to rat out my family or, oh, if no. they ever decide to fucking oh, you can just plead a fifth on that one though yeah, you don't have to <laughs> you, rat plead, you don't have to no I'm saying I want my DNA on options. there so they can be like oh shit your brother just fucking murdered dude some is that more important than knowing who your great 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 greats were they're dead I don't give a fuck oh no, it's not more important. I mean, if you have a, a family member that's a criminal, it is what it is. You know, <laughs> it's more we all have to, criminals. In it's our more family. important to me. To yeah. know. Sometimes we're the criminal. Hey, <laughs> Sometimes it's we more are important to me like. to know whether or not I have thirteen percent Italian in me or not. That's well, important. you do every Friday night when you get you know, drunk. Hey, <laughs> I said I said percent, not inch. <laughs> I say 13 inches. 13 I said 13 percent of Italian in it. <laughs> like I'm fucking. Is that what they I'm really with? drunk. I'm gonna get 13 percent of Italian in it. <laughs> in that case, no. It's like what's 13 times three? Friday. All right, we're 39 percent this weekend. Oh my god. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, that's should, why. Why you've done? You've done the DNA case? test? Yes. Yeah. What did you? I'm glad I did. So the test came Puerto back. Puerto Rican. I'm about, I'm about 39 percent West African. West oh, African. West what, what does that mean? Where, where that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I love it. So I'm you're so, from Wakanda? I'm very happy to hear that. Wakanda forever. And <laughs> <laughs> I That's am so 40 so wait, did something your, percent. When you go back, did your like mm-hmm. ancestry let her fucking the, talk? I know. I'm, I just, I don't, no, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to miss the details. Okay. So West African, yes. obviously is different than East African so, or whatever. What you have to take into consideration is that there are multiple genetic agencies that do this kind of type of yeah, testing. Yeah, yeah. And they sell different packages, different time periods, and blah, 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 blah. So DNA 23 was able to acquire another d- genetic testing and was able to get more sample sizes. It's all about sample sizes, right? Right. When you're narrowing down exactly where you're from. 
Thanks. So it gets updated constantly is my point. So the last time I had it updated, it said I was 8% Nigerian and I was... Where's Nigeria as far as... West Africa. Know? Is it okay? Yep, it's right in West Africa. Why do they put all these IAs on the end of the words? IAs? I don't know. That's just like, like in Latin in Europe too. I don't know. All right, continue. Well, basically, there's European in me from my grandfather's side, my, my maternal grandfather, and there's... What kind of European? Was it Italian? Was it Greek? Was it... I see what's about it. Spain. <laughs> might be ready. That is mine. Yeah. Portuguese and, uh, and Spanish. In Spain. Well, um, 20% of the European... Of the you got to be Irish somewhere. You know what? I thought so, but my mother just liked the name Patricia. Actually, it was my father that named me, Patty Hurst. He named me after Patty Hurst. So that's why I got Patricia. You got to be Irish somehow <laughs> to have the name Patricia. Last name is LaSalle's French. LaSalle's French. That's what I mean. Why, why do you think she has she to be Irish? Because everybody's Irish French. somewhere. Interesting. 40% of the immigrants that came over to America were Irish. Interesting. That's a huge fucking population. Anyway, so what are you saying? Yeah. West African, Nigeria. I see, um... European somewhere. Yes, European. And Portuguese. Taina, and native. Taina. That's Native, native American? Native of the island of Borinque, which is now known as Puerto Rico. Oh, I thought you meant Native American. The native indigenous folks. Interesting. That occupied the island at that time. I feel like you have, probably have a lot of cool rights that I don't have. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know, dude, I don't know. You know, like Native Americans, don't they have like extra I rights? I wish, yeah. You know what I mean? They're, they're Puerto Rico. protected. <laughs> well, she's right. not Native they, American, they, they bro. She's Puerto Rican. Either, though. <laughs> they don't have electricity, <laughs> never mind rights. They Puerto don't Rican, have you got Native Puerto, American American Puerto Rican is American now. You know, it's... Well, no, it actually, what's the territory of America, so it is American. Right. True, they just don't have... What is it? What is that? Can you check, like, what is the difference between being... You're Puerto Rican American or I just, just you know, the American vote. right now? Is it a voting? I think they can vote. Well, he's going to find out it's for us right I now. Don't, so I, don't I think Puerto Rico is a, like a, a territory government. owned by America, but, but it's, it's not. I believe they have a block, so I don't Look at us all just block. talking shit right now, and we have no, no idea. idea. We're saying, yeah, we're, should, yes, so we're just going to look it up. <laughs> Jay's like, I, I think Puerto Ricans are like Oh, it says that residents of Puerto Rico and other U.S. territories do not have voting representation in the Congress. God, we're so ignorant, but we they can participate in, in the elections. Primary. But we just don't have representation. That, and that is why we... Oh, you know what? Okay. That's interesting. Good. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Go say it. I mean, all it takes is for people to gather and, you know what I'm saying, rally and say, no, we're going to have our own But I thought that was going to happen after but the... They would have to become a state. I mean, the average it person does it. Hurricanes. Yeah. I mean, imagine you don't get support or food oh, for that's awful. 60 days that's and you're awful. on a mountaintop. And oh, I, I remember that they problem. actually had it, but it was just nobody knew it was over there. Like, it was no, like, the problem The problem was is that they got well, some they definitely aid. got support, bro. I saw a video of fucking yeah, but President no, Trump throwing out paper was, towels um, to everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah, President Trump yeah. throwing paper towels. That's what exactly happened was the supply. Those were games. vivas. Those were vivas. <laughs> 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 if you didn't know, viva is the number one. Come cleaning paper towel on the market oh. <laughs> right now. Oh, Are you serious right now? Yeah. I thought that's what you said, right? You, you didn't <laughs> in case you didn't know, like, yo, hashtag fact, Viva. Yes. Let's go. Throw us some dollars. Be a sponsor. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, in a, in a Puerto Rico, they had supplies delivered, but they couldn't coordinate delivery to the mountaintops and, and for the region. Yeah, and I mean, that's you're spoiled. Talking, you're talking about that places that... A lot of it. Some of the places are, you know, 40 minutes by walk. And then you are in some, you know, mountain village. I mean, you can't just bring a truck there. They're, the bridges were yeah. blown out. I mean, some people couldn't even get water for a month yeah. or more. That's it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, you're in the United States. Man, that sounds like a shithole. Yeah, I want to I I <laughs> touch base on that with George. What you just That's said. That's how they were treated. Like it hold was on one second, guys. What George, you just said is that you thought that after the hurricane, they were going to... I mean, I thought that there was going to be some type of uprising or something. I mean, it's an American Territory. property. And, and Are you talking territory. about, like, that uprising was going to happen in Puerto Rico? or like Absolutely. in the So if that were to happen, though, I mean... That doesn't affect the mainland. That's what I mean. Like, what, what do they... Th what's their leverage? What are they saying? They hey, we're going to separate they, ourselves well, from you? Their leverage forever... I hate saying that. Puerto, Puerto Rico is America. That's the entire part. Mm -hmm. You take it over as a territory. At some point, you mm -hmm. have to be responsible for it. But if this not. happened in Houston, I mean, yeah. look at Houston. Yeah. I have friends personally that right. drove from Florida with a fleet of trucks. Yeah. The to Americans, Houston. we just make we, sure see, it gets America done. America doesn't no have any what. interest. No, any it's also Puerto Rico, costs, Puerto Rico costs America a lot of money because the government and the politics aren't run properly. 
and the aid that's given to them is given to the wrong people in the wrong. How country. does America it's, benefit from having Puerto Rico as a territory? And you guys are really fucked up, man. Right yeah, it's right not right fucked up, and I'm not. I'm not no, saying no, no, that you know, we should or we shouldn't. No, but they, what they did was to, like, though the government has done to that island in a matter of twenty years, stripped it from its natural resources. When the moment they started putting in their own forces in there, the military, because Puerto Rico, the island itself, is the first island in the Caribbean. When you look at the map, it's mm -hmm. the first island. So their defense gets to guard against so they had all their um the experimental their um um what do you call that like nuclear testing nuclear. kind of shit so like in the island of vieques so like i mean and until this day people are born with deformalities the water is still poor because of busy. radiation and they'll say no but safe now but the, i'm not trusting that shit because yeah, the radiation is fucked up man so like <clears throat> now that the troops have pulled the you know their forces from that island i believe since the 90s there's no use for it for them and so it, now they have an obligation but the obligation is minimal how right. much are they really gonna so it's kind of like what people complain about us doing in some countries in the middle east we go get what we need and fuck shit up it. and then we, we leave and kind of leave it like yeah it's, we rape it and that yeah. is it Ooh, damn that is it that's exactly what has happened to that island since the yeah. beginning america raped puerto rico it's so no christopher columbus did it first christopher columbus and america raped he puerto rico you heard it first he did it before Patricia. the u.s that's going to be he, the title of this you, episode just when, so you know so that, quotes america yes. rapes puerto rico yeah, hyphen that. patricia lasalle <laughs> no christopher columbus <laughs> fucked puerto rico christopher columbus <laughs> that fucked puerto bastard rico. <laughs> right. yeah. that's going to be our fucking description <laughs> So, like, so from the beginning, you know, the island itself is, you know, it, it was, like I said, it was acquired by Columbus, by, as a, it was given to the Queen of Spain as a gift. Give somebody an island. By, by, oh, fuck yes. makes that decision. Who the stronger fuck guy? makes that decision, man? So, fuck the Queen financed his journey colonialism. to come find America. Right? She said, all right, you know what? So, here's a little son, son. Little history you go find ass. America, all right? So the first island he ran into was Puerto Rico, because it's the first island in the Caribbean, right. right? So Puerto Rico was full of natural resources. Sugar, um, gold at the time. Empanadas. Gold is, <laughs> gold is, <laughs> gold is a metal, which is the what sky. they use at that time to trade. I don't know why we're that, friends. Right? Empanadas do sound delicious right now, though. Go ahead. So... Christopher's on his journey, continues on, finds America, comes back as a gift to the queen, gives her the island of Puerto Rico, which is why they were governed and has Spanish ruling for the next 400 years. For, was in 1898, that's when they had this, the Puerto Rican, the Spanish-American War. The U.S. goes to Puerto Rico and says, hey, we'll, defend, we'll, we'll help you out against Spain. Let's create a war, gain your independence, we'll take care of you. Mm-hmm. And, and then drop that ball. 1898, well, they we won the war, that, right? and then we stripped the island. We we took over the island at that point. We yeah, trusted said, the hey, US. you're alive because of us, and we're going to take what so we need So then, 20 years later, I don't even think it was 20 years later, to speak their native language was banned. Anyone in the public office that spoke Spanish, at that time, because for the last 400 years, Spanish put their mm -hmm. ruling on it. Catholicism, the religion, the language. Mm. So now they're saying, if you speak your language... You're going to jail. Some people were murdered. So Puerto Ricans were scared to speak their, their language. Native their language. tongue. And it was only until like maybe the 30s or the 50s. I don't remember exactly. You give me dates of fuzzy. <laughs> Try to find a smart way to say it. Their native tongue. It's exactly right. right. That's he's, how you say he's it, exactly though. He's exactly right. He's yeah. exactly right. Spanish. Same thing. <laughs> Latinos. Well, no. <laughs> their native tongue. Because of the different dialects and everything. Like, yeah. yeah, I get it, bud. <laughs> <laughs> so, so on and so forth, the island has been used and abused. That's unfortunate. For the last um, two years. I find it really Is that not the kind of like the same story for a lot of countries? All the islands. All the small all the islands. All like If the, you think about the islands, all the big countries, like the, Philippines the European were countries were taken acquired over. by like the British. Ireland. You know, the, the, so, so it's because we had all these resources here. So mm. it's not, so what you saw or what you see or what you know about that happened in Puerto Rico is the same thing that happened in the Dominican Republic and Haiti. I'm the same island. You know, in the, in the Virgin yeah. Islands, mm. in the, the British Islands. How do you, you know? feel when somebody calls a Puerto Rican, Dominican, and Dominican, you know, like that whole thing? I know it'll, that. So wait, are you from New York? I'm a oh, New Yorkian, yes. That's New right. Rican. So you, yeah. it was like yeah. big New in New Jersey. Rican, like in Jersey, you don't call a Puerto Rican a Dominican. I, or you, I mean, there's you no Mexicans what? in Jersey either. So like, 
Some people are just under- sensitive, you know? Like I understand. It depends on the context. You know, where they come I can understand, but what is unfortunate is that we are all the same, and it's just a lack of knowledge, of understanding who they are and wh- how we all come from. So you yourself don't get offended if somebody's... I don't get offended. I uh-huh. may correct someone if they say, oh, you didn't make it. No, 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 I'm Boricua, or I'm, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. Blah, blah, blah. But it's not to say in, this, in, the, in the energy of... Who the fuck you think you're talking to, bitch? Like, you know, yeah, well, I don't ever that's get That's a stupid that. way to react. Yeah. You know, that's, that's and, an immature way to and react. And that's what the stereotype is. Well, it's kind of like, you know, Asians. Like, everybody just assumes Asians are Chinese. That's not, see, that's not true. Well, that's very true, bro. Not, I don't. I don't think. No that's matter what kind of Asian food you eat, they're like, "Oh, I like this Chinese." No, I can't even find. I have some ignorant ass yeah. friends though that be mixing that shit up. <laughs> no shit, you do. This I have guy some right here. Ass friends, no, like, but I think you know. Again, it's, know it's tough. Like, like we're Laos in a fucking. Like, yeah, hold on. When you <laughs> we're think, in a Thai restaurant, they're like, "Oh, I love Chinese food." When you think like, people are. Like, <laughs> Up, man. But when you say people are like the same general chows or they don't get offended, <laughs> we shouldn't make that you know, like you can't judge every situation as one. You know, because one person might look at you and they're like a racist cunt and they're like fucking whatever you Mexican mm-hmm. and they mean it derogatory. You just yeah. really say that? But the other person might just, you know, be saying, Hey, are you Mexican? Because they're they're not educated, you know. Yeah, I just want to just take note that we rice were talking about exactly what I said. <laughs> we were going to talk hey. about. I love it. No, let's keep it rolling, though. <laughs> you got it. You're the boss. You're good. You're good. Oh, yeah, you're we good. are talking about race. <laughs> we have but that was the first thing we talked about was politics. <laughs> politics and race. <laughs> what so, are we going to get you Trump yesterday. <laughs> so, how do you feel about Christianity? No. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't touched on that yet. But, you know, um, I, I find it really interesting that you know so much about your. Um, like your heritage and the history yeah. of the island that's that's yeah. pretty cool i wish i knew a little more about it yeah well, let me tell you Columbia something that, yeah they do coke are you Colombian? that's what i'm saying are you, you know Colombian? hashtag pablo escobar are you let me get some nose beers right yeah look at him pour that shit out dude man yeah let me tell you something nothing feels more liberating than understanding you know your heritage and 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 kind of relating it to who you are mm. because it's a direct correlation i feel like i'd be Phony if I did that though, because it's not who I am. Wait a minute, are no, you no, no, no. are you are you saying that your ancestry is a molds your person personality? Is that oh, what it it could def it definitely plays a part of who you your are. Your culture for sure. Because your personality is how you see yourself, right? Right. So how you, if you can see yourself in a way like you're proud, yeah, because you have more understanding and more knowledge of yourself. Yep. Then that just strengthens your personality, and you'll grasp and onto the culture, traditions, and stuff like that. It's, it's because stronger. you just feel it. Some, so when something's natural to you, don't deny it. That's right. But, I'm half Irish. Like Sometimes that. I feel like when something fucking feels natural, up. just go with it and just say and and, gre- and develop your curiosity for it, and Interesting. and then you know figure out how it relates to who you are or where you may have deterred from maybe. Do you agree with that, Josh? I think that we're a lot. More. <laughs> I feel like this is conversation's been had previously. Well, no, I'm no, saying no, like no, you're, you're, you're Colombian, know, right? Just interrupted <laughs> you to ask if I agree. Um, I think I think that's that you're dope that he's Colombian. I didn't even know he was Colombian. Yeah, I mean, yeah. most people don't, and it's it's probably more Colombian than most people realize because my father was born there and lived most of his life in Colombia and spoke it fluently. He could eat it and your mom. So what is your mom? As a young man. Yeah, my mom is um, French, Irish, Italian. And that's okay. Um, it's proud of me. Canadian. She's a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah she's like, that's okay that but you're white. But you follow a straight yeah, Colombian. So you're 50%, white, bro. You're 50% Colombian. White, bro. So you're 50% Colombian white. now. You're doing the numbers now. No, yeah, I'm probably... If you have to He's take, 50% Colombian people. If you take people. All, of, all of my um, heritage, Colombian is the biggest piece of yeah, that of pie. Of course it is, yeah. Mm, pie. But yeah, Colombian, you know, Hot. takes the biggest... Dude, like, he's mm, a... Pie. Mm. I'm a, you could say that I'm a first, you know, I'm a first generation <laughs> American. You know, he yes. was born there. His mother, his entire family was born there. Um, you know, there's well, Colombian, of, yeah, Colombian part of my family. You know that that I when I communicate, with, they don't speak English. You know, like so. I just started watching Mexico Narcos. I watched the first episode. See the association right there. Wait, no, like, I had to say, and they're moving the operations to Colombia. She's like Colombian. Oh, I what's gotta that go show now. About now I'm really gonna finish this season now. Netflix? I want to finish oh, this season now. Speaking of your ancestry, I just saw some food <laughs> sniffing glue. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "What? You're Colombian? You got some white shit on your shirt right there." Yeah, Yo, so definitely. Well, you, you knew that he was Hispanic, though, right? I had no idea. I wasn't Get sure what he was. Because he said the same thing. He could well, be. Like, a, like, I thought he was I Portuguese. I don't, I don't really like, advertise. I thought he was, I thought he was Portuguese. Not, I don't advertise. I don't talk about it. It's not because yeah. I'm, I'm not ashamed of it. No, you, know, you just know what You have yeah. all of the characteristics of Hispanic. Again, now that he said it, the widow speaking, everything makes sense. Like the almost the chinky eyes. I got the square head. I got the chinky eyes. I got the gaps in the teeth. The big lips. I got the fucking beautiful caramel complexion. You know, I got the thick hair. You know. 
the no. stolen rims, the full head of hair, no the job, full, the full head of hair. <laughs> The stolen rims is so pure, bro. <laughs> Fucking coming in you here smelling like vegetable Columbia. oil. You need to visit your homeland. Yo, well, have you been to Colombia? Josh goes to Colombia. He's never coming back. Never the... coming back, yeah. bro. Colombia. Never. Well, never. You better never. bring your wife if you're going to come back. Why, you been to I would bring my wife I have not been to Colombia, but I, I heard the girls Josh are banging on her. Listen. Yeah. Who cares Columbia about the girls, people. man? Yeah, let's talk about the guys. What? Fucking Well, the thing about, like, um, like my heritage is, you know, like... You say that you're you're surprised that I'm Colombian because I don't really it's not a part of my culture, you know. Like I'm not surprised. My dad is you know full blooded Colombian and yeah. it's a part of his culture, but I didn't have the best dad. That's you know what I mean? Like yeah. he wasn't really around. Neither did I. But I still claim my he, blackness. <laughs> oh, he passed away when I was young. Oh, sorry. He, yeah. He's gone. You know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> sorry. Oh, Daddy. Sorry. Daddy. 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 So yeah, my mom raised me, and uh, you know, I, it'd be fun, you know, like, to, to be in touch with it more. I don't know. Oh man, Daddy, <laughs> you should work for fucking Hallmark, make fucking cards. Daddy, it's <laughs> one word card. Yeah. Like, hashtag Daddy. Hashtag, hashtag dead. Oh, I'm, I'm not bottling. I'm not bottling up some emotions right now at all. This is great. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> hey, don't feel bad, bro. My dad's dead you too. You need to explore your your Yeah, your but heritage. there's a difference too. That's you know? dope though. I liked my dad. You might free yourself. Never know. <laughs> there's a difference I liked my dad. <laughs> bro, I like I like my dad too, man. I'm just kidding. Bro, like if I had a choice, I'd rather him be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Give me a coin. No, oh. I'm kidding. Now, was he in Colombia when he passed? Or was no, he? no, he was here. He moved here, knocked up my mom when they were like eighteen, I think. Uh-huh. And then I, I remember I have like three or four memories of him, mm-hmm. you know, very, very limited. That sucks. And he died when I was 11. So it's not like, you know, I was I wasn't a super baby, yeah. but I don't have no, you still, memories of him. You're still cognizant and like there's yeah. a relationship. The, that's the, only, the only thing that makes sense as to why there aren't many memories is that he wasn't around that much, you know? So mm. why? What, it what is. was he doing? Who knows, bro? I mean, I have a couple sisters with different... Ooh. Mom, so he was, you know, he was out there slinging dick. That's what he was Ooh, doing. They, you know what? They're all white too, Listen. bro. He, he came to America and he's like, ah, oh, why do you say blonde? Peli rojo? <laughs> fucking. How do you say blonde? Bello. Bello. What's peli rojo? Redhead? That's red, bro. Oh, I got, I got peli rojo at home then. Redhead, yeah. Yeah. Pet rubio, ru- rubia, whatever. So he's finding all the rubias and just knocking them up, bro. Bing, bang, bang. You know what I find Bing, fucking crazy? So, like, I think that generation, how old was your dad? Like, when. Um,. He was 19 when he had me. Because I have a whole bunch of, like, so half-sisters, half-brothers, too. Like my What's 29 plus 19? It's, like, almost like the, <laughs> the males. 48. 48. 48. The males in a certain generation. Yeah, like he was just, nine like, when he had me. I'm all trying to make myself feel younger. Fuck, <laughs> dude. He was three when he had me. <laughs> What's that? I got some like calluses going on in my thing. Okay. Probably from hitting those weights. It is exactly what it is. I got some calluses on my deadly. hands too. Just I'm like, one hand actually. Like... <laughs> just, just one. Bro, <laughs> right lotion, bro. Like a hard last Tuesday. <laughs> some calluses. Like, like, You're out blisters. I'm trying to like, kill them off and shit. They really are that dry. Jay's about to give him lotion recommendations. I know, oh, right? Viva towels and the special lotion. <laughs> He's like, I steam the towel first. You don't need lotion, dude. Once you're a grown man, you don't need anything. Just need foreskin in a good technique. video. <laughs> you just, just need technique. technique. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, like we can't talk about Somebody race. Let's talk about masturbation. I was in the military. Let's go. I was in the military. <laughs> I'm like, go. dude, I was like, I would never lose my thumbs because I wouldn't be able to jerk off. Mm-hmm. He goes, bro, your thumbs. He goes, all you need are these three middle fingers in your palm. <laughs> and then I would always be like, yeah, I guess that would work. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> like, you could, you could pick what up was anything. His ra- what was his race? Thumb. What was his race? I don't fucking know. Oh, he was Asian, obviously. He didn't need his whole. That's why he only needed the three middle fingers. Because I ain't never met that. nobody that can only use three little fingers. He's like, here you go, bro. <laughs> two fingers. <laughs> what was his race? You're terrible. <laughs> yeah. I'm like he was. He was Kenyan. She's like, yeah. Yeah, right. I would never lose my arms. <laughs> he needs four hands. He needs both his hands. He needs four. Fucking George he needs a pet octopus. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my That's why they have many wives. The fuck are we? Do? What? Just <laughs> <laughs> like what? all about it. Yeah. That's why they practice polygamy. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that was fun. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> that's, where the po- that's where the podcast goes. We're all a little tipsy, a little high. Just like listen, now guys. I see how you guys do four hours. I was like, how long? Oh, I was kidding about the four hours. Oh. Oh, we don't do yeah. four I love hours. that you're about it though. Uh, I'm like three to four hours. She's like, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> she even said it earlier. She's like, I'm gonna be here a while. Like, hey, pour me a shot. <laughs> she brought it over. She actually bag. made double. She brought a double. She's thinking in her mind like, fuck, I'm gonna be here for four hours. <laughs> hey, fill my shit up. <laughs> we'll fucking deal with these twenty-four hour dumbasses. <laughs> I was like, this is a marathon, so not a race. We were talking about, <laughs> yeah, you know, like real. American, how it is in, in other countries. We have this weird view of how easy life is here. Yeah. Um, I saw weird? this I saw this article. I, it was, yeah. I think it was on Facebook. But there were, I don't know if we talked about this yesterday, but there was um, a woman who was arrested and sentenced to six years in prison just for being a Jehovah's Witness in Russia. You said that the other day, yeah. I, think I, might, I might have said it to you. And was it on the podcast, or was wow. did you say that? I don't know if it was. Do you some, the, some of the laws in the different countries are insane. Yeah, but they treat that as um, you know, like a not a terrorist organization, <laughs> but like a step lower than a terrorist organization. Like they're inciting riots and shit like that. That's what they're saying. A religious but group. The, yeah, it, uh, exactly. The Jehovah Witnesses. Oh uh, no! Um, oh, what you got? It's on the tip of my tongue, dude. Wait a minute. Do we think that's fucked up just because Russians are white? Like, because you go to Saudi Arabia and you start preaching fucking Christianity, they're gonna Jehovah's Witnesses literally right now. Like, how harmful are they? How harmful is a Jehovah's Witness right now? Well, it depends. It depends what time you went to sleep. <laughs> because they're not going to get early in the morning. Exactly. That's just about morning. the extent. Yeah, that's right. You but go to sleep at 8 o'clock in the morning. Fair enough, bro. Should they be sentenced to prison for six years God. for what they're doing? No chance. That's how like, different I'm, You're about to is, see bro. God. Stop knocking on my fucking door. <laughs> what is he saying? What did he say on Friday? What did he say on Friday? Bye, Felicia. No, no, the Jehovah with the first scene of Friday. Oh, yeah, uh, she was like, "Well, well I was with you like, too." I said, yeah, she was. Know, right? <laughs> yeah, I just watched that pretty recently. Friday, are you serious? Fucking clap! No, no, not crazy. for the first time, oh, but like man, I rewatched it for the first time. No, no, but what a fucking oh, classic, you. man! What a classic! Said, well, fuck you too, well, motherfucker! Fuck you too! <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you too, motherfucker! <laughs> That movie is that a classic. Was a I can't wait. Next week we actually have Ice Cube on the show. Oh, nice. No, but what I I'm saying is that if you go to, <laughs> <It's a rare laughs> oh shit! I was you... like, yo, I mean, we got a strong black woman in our team. She said she can get Ice Cube on. <laughs> no. George, do you know how to use a computer? <laughs> You're out. <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> yeah, now what a classic fucking movie. It, it always oh tricked me out. Like, how do you guys go and do a um, sequel without fucking Chris Tucker? Oh, you know Chris I mean? Tucker kind of made the movie. Yeah, he did. I, he was a huge part yeah, of that movie did. for sure. Like, Ice Cube was yeah, almost like the supporting actor, even yeah. though he was supposed to be the front man. You yeah. know, what's crazy is that movie. How popular it is, and how much of a pe- how uh, big of a piece of culture that it is, like pop culture that it is. And when you watch that movie, dude, pay attention to where the scenes are. That movie was probably filmed on one street. Oh, it's oh like of course, three or four yeah. houses, you know, like yeah, 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 yeah. super low yeah, budget, yeah. dude. But like, what was gigantic. the name of across the street? Water in the grass. Yeah, Miss <laughs> 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 Famous Parker. I wanna yeah. fuck you, Miss Parker. Hello, midget. Yeah, yeah. hello, fucking midget husband, dude. <laughs> Bernie Mac was in that guy, best so. Oh my god! How about Bernie Mac so in that movie? Oh, hilarious. Bro, Bernie Mac was awesome. He, he was, was such a g- <laughs> dude. When I was young, over there. I had um, you know, like one of my stepdads throughout my life. One, we had a few. Let's, yeah, let's leave it at that. One of my twenty stepdads. <laughs> hey, it wasn't twenty, but I had a couple. You know, some I had a couple. Around. So you know, it is what it is. But so my stepdad at the time, he uh, he was white, but he grew up in a you know in the hood, in you know. Hood. So he he was very um yeah. You know, it was very was... Malibu's most wanted like. <laughs> You know, he wasn't yeah, really yeah. he wanted to be black, bro. Cultural appropriation yeah, yeah. at its finest. Um, so he introduced me to the original Kings of Comedy man that stand up with Bernie Mac. Oh my what god. What a fucking classic that, that is. That shit was dude. hilarious. Alright, that's a good introduction. That yeah, he was just that like, was a good Hey man, he's like, I'll show you some Mac. Oh yeah, he yeah. he has he has his G card, you know what I mean? That's hilarious. He's got his hood pass, like he's good. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just serious you know he, it is what it is he's super proud to be Irish too he's oh just not a God. phony you know I wish a top three favorite your dad was Irish what I thought he was Step Columbia dad, you fool. oh you stepdad step right, right. top three favorite like comedy movies Ooh. Ooh, big question Ooh, I'm definitely three. in the, like the naked gun realm just cause like that dry oh, slapstick fuck, fucking yeah. kind of humor gun. 
Yeah. I'm like, oh. like it's so stupid that it's. I funny almost to remember me. who the fuck it was. This is an old white man, right? Three. Yeah, Leslie Comedy. Nielsen. That's his Never, name, bro. That's tough. Or wait, ever like in the history of Just filming? In, for you, yes. Oh. But, all right, so I got a few that are like, you know, probably like fly under the radar, but forgetting Sarah Marshall, fucking hilarious, bro. That's Tommy definitely Boy. up there for me. Forget Tommy Boy. Sarah. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. That is a funny movie. That is a fucking funny Tommy movie. Boy Tommy Boy is obviously has to be hilarious, top five. dude. Tommy Boy's top Isn't five. Isn't that with um, Chris, Chris Farley? Farley? Yes. He was top five all yeah, time for yeah. comedians. Yeah. Especially with the physical acting comedy. Oh, he was why he's fucking coked out oh of his my dick. God. That's why, yeah. bro. That's why he's dead. Whatever. You see that fat guy doing five. cartwheels and shit. <laughs> yeah, seriously, bro. He, did, he earned the top five. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I hear a little rowdy at karaoke. I'm like, am I Chris Farley? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Like, what about you, Jay? Or do we have a little tag names on the show? Mm. <laughs> Jay no, Rock. you know what? There's hemorrhoid. That's hemorrhoid. It's Hem- so, hemorrhoid. so many comedic you know, movies. I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. Like, I think they're called fun. comedies. It's like anything yeah. with Britney Spears. What? <laughs> I don't know. I find a lot of shit funny. Comedies. I even think the spinoff to that was funny. Like all the get him to the Greek. All the, again the sla- That was a funny movie too. Yeah. That was funny. That goes along came right Polly. Up. Like those kind of those are like rom com fucking movies. Like or whatever. Yeah, that's too gay for me. He said along came Polly. Along came Polly. What the fuck? Man? Oh, but the, is that, that his top hey five? that. I don't know if it's his top five, but I'll tell you what. When that fat <laughs> like Friday, playing, he's like a class so in basketball. Right. When that fat black dude's playing basketball, that shit's a funny part. How about of that Coming movie. to America? Oh, like, that's, my life, that's a classic. Coming, coming that's to America was great. Great. It was pretty funny. <laughs> little, I just, I don't to know. be loved. Comedy was a little old for me. <laughs> <laughs> to be loved. <laughs> Planes, trains, and automobiles. I don't know. I like a lot of old school shit. I like a lot of new comedy too. Like a lot of people think today, like The Hangover yeah. was like. Funny movie. I didn't think it was funny. I thought it was oh, you know entertaining what, movie. But scene, one of my favorite scenes, one of my favorite scenes, comedy scenes, was funny. Harlem Nights with Harlem Nights is Eddie funny, Murphy yeah. and like what's everybody her name? was in that yeah, movie. What's her name? Queen Latifah. No, was in that, what's was her it? name? Um, I no Del idea, Rey. I don't. I've never seen. Oh, um, Del Reese. Del Reese. <laughs> what's her name? Del Reese. She shot me in her pinky toe. The fat chick. The big lady. How old are you? You don't want to know. He's twenty-eight. He was like born in the nineties or something. Twenty-nine, bitch. Born in eighty-nine. Listen, I understand. I, Think I about what the, the 90s were for oh, us. Oh, 90s, 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 okay. And he was just like being born. Let me go to I was 90s. Just still in my dad's ball sack ooh, in the 90s, ooh. barely. They say warm and toasty, huh? Warm and toasty. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, Burr. It says that Eddie Murphy announced that with Craig Brewer, they're going to reunite Richard for Pryor. Coming in America too. They are? Yeah. Eddie when? Murphy said that on January 11th. First of all, Wait, Eddie Murphy. again? They're going to have Coming to America too. Eddie Murphy's already filming it. Have you seen Golden Child? Yes. That's a fucking That's a great movie. Imagine coming to Wait, America hold on. Too? Let's go back to that. Yes. Old, old school. That's Who's another the, fucking Any more information? Movie. With Will Ferrell? Yeah. 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 No, it just says, uh, oh, my God. You know, Bad Step Boys Brothers? 3 is coming Step out Brothers, and the Martin bro. show is coming out. Yeah, you know, Martin's coming back out. Get out of here. Come Wait, no, on. Wait, no. Fuck, I man. love Wait, that. him and Will are doing another Bad Boys. Yes, they are. Bad Boys 3. Yeah. yeah I can't wait for that. Will Smith doesn't age, huh? Not really. Like a nice... Good piece of frozen chocolate, dude. Doesn't He's matter right. anything. <laughs> He's a little light. <laughs> He's a little light. He's a little light. I like dark chocolate. Jesus I like the cacao. She's like, I need 94%. Ninety-four percent. I need a Cedric being a tan. <laughs> nah, he's too big. <laughs> he's too big. Out, <laughs> like you really want like a straight up like Nigerian, no, Kenyan, you like old. No, they got <laughs> no, he's too skinny. <laughs> we know you from playing poker. Yeah, yeah. But we brought you on because you're much more interesting and you know yes, you're, yes, you're deeper yes. than that. <laughs> but I'm always curious. Obviously, poker is yes. like a male dominated yes. kind of thing. How do you crush it? Not how do you crush it because <laughs> you're not that good. But why do you? Think- <laughs> Except for when I, no, I except for when I went all in on him listen, and took his shit. She, the highlight of her career was buffing me off a pot. No, but not. The, it's yes, funny because I did, and hey, he didn't know it's me. It's not the first time. It's she's funny because she, off a pot no, but it was funny is that she remembers it, and I remember exactly the hand she's talking about, and it almost made me not want to fucking play anymore. I was like, yo, I swear to God, and I'm like, motherfucker, like I, I was still new, bro. I was only like six months in. She's probably like, yo, this cocky little motherfucker. I'm gonna get his ass. Cause she, uh, I mean, what I wanted, what I wanted to say, is, is it like annoying? Because I feel like, you know, you're a very, you're like you're a good looking woman, yes. and all these poker players around you all the time are probably constantly hitting on you. 
You know what I mean? So like creepy. Is that, <laughs> it doesn't bother as me. Fuck to deal with. It does. Like I see the way that Jay acts when you're around. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I feel like if I dealt with that all the time, no, it doesn't creep me out. You know why? Because at the end of the day, <laughs> what? <laughs> at the end of the day, I could be the. Exact I barely opposite. ever see her. I've seen you milk the death of a family member to extend a hug. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't worry, we'll cut that part out. The ladies will never what see I'm that. What I'm saying is that, you know, at the end of the day, I could be the exact opposite, right? God could take me out with a razor blade to the cheek. So this is not just poker. This is anywhere. That's a really weird way to go. So like, what I'm saying is I, I, am, I acknowledge the fact that I am blessed to be able to have the attention that I get. So that keeps me humble because I know at any time that I could be in a different position. Mm. I don't want to be known for just saying. That's oh, very she's, grounded. She, I don't want to be known for just. I, I'm complimented by feeling, you know, getting the compliments. But, at the but end you of the know day, that I shit can people, change. I want you to invite me if I had scars on my face and I'm still talking to you. Oh you yeah, know, absolutely. You know what I'm trying to say? So if someone's complimenting me, I mean, we might me, bump you down the list, but you'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, it'd be before the cameras, like before maybe like low res cameras. Wait, wait, like, we'll put wait. you right after Joe Nolan. No, wait, wait. <laughs> Why so, do you feel so, like name dropping like, everybody today, bro? <laughs> oh, like our wait, fucking wait, circle wait. doesn't know these people. Mm. So if someone's complimenting me, I take it as a blessing. Like, I don't look at it as if... Mm-hmm. No, I know some women out there would be like, oh, who the fuck? You know, don't... Hey, those stuck-up cons. But you know what? I get it. If you You're not about of, that. If you went out of your way to pay me anything, you didn't have to. It's because you saw something, and I appreciated it. So I will always acknowledge that. That's pretty sweet of you. And that's what allows me to keep my lines of... Meaning, you know, you're, you're not open. caught up in the... Nah. In the I the was a tomboy. Listen, the, this is how I like, came listen. dressed. I said to myself, I'm going to, you know, let me, let me do it up, put my boots on, you know, have fun with the guys. But I was like, is that my real self? My real self is how you see me. And I'd rather yeah, be able it, to vibe with y'all. the boots, bro. All right, I'll do it next time. You got time. the chunk right No, because she, <laughs> no, she, she, she'll <laughs> think that. <laughs> she got cro- Why is your foot on the table? <laughs> she has Crocs on. She's like, like damn, you no, didn't have to go you, that low. Can we, can we just talk about how easy that was for her, bro? Can you show your sneak into the camera real quick? Bro, watch this shit, bro. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey, I bet you fucking. Whoa. <laughs> it's like, dad. I'm so dad. envious, bro. Like, sometimes I watch my son sit on the floor and, like, his legs will be, like. That's weird, you know, like, bro. That's so imagine weird. Imagine yourself kneeling, right? Like, you oh, kneel right. and sit on your butt at the same time. Yeah. And your legs are, like, sticking out on the. Yeah. Side. Bro, like, bro, his leg is. I know exactly. Well, because we all used to sit like it when we were kids. You know what I mean? You just have to. Just act like an adult for 10 seconds. That's all I'm looking for, guys. <laughs> like his knees, dude. They bend. No adult sits like that. <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, just hear this without laughing. You know, like, stop being weird about it. But like these kids, like, I don't know if you know. You have a daughter that's my son's age. Don't they're bring my so daughter fucking, into this conversation. They're so fucking flexible, bro. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like he sits down. Because they're young. It's obviously, you ever seen a baby bro. grab his legs and fucking like you know? <laughs> Listen, I see. Bro, a they grown, bite I their see, fucking. I see a grown woman do that all the time. All right. <laughs> Hey, you and ever seen a baby like bite his feet like no problem? Right yeah, I bite my toenails. Who cares? Bro, that is so, that's so gross. fucking <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> that's so <gross>. awesome. <laughs> that's so disgusting. That's disgusting. Oh awesome. <laughs> but yeah, that's so fucking man. I see like I just see the way when he even when he like falls down and I'm like, oh shit, is You his know that like, kids done. don't have knees until different. like a year and a half? What are you talking about? They don't go kneecaps. <laughs> are you, so like what? How high are you Stop right it. now? No, they, they don't go kneecaps. They don't ossify. The knees doesn't... How high are you right now? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have kneecaps. They don't have... They, if if you, why, look, go get yourself a little 12-month-old child and, 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 and feel the knees. <laughs> I know. You act like it's like okay. rollback at can Walmart. You, like, can you go and see if they're in stock right now, George? <laughs> hey, they're on sale at Walmart. Go grab yourself a little Dude, fucking kid. Go grab yourself a <laughs> They don't have any kneecaps until like the age of... And did you call it a 12-month-old? Do you, hear what, hold on, do you hear what you're saying? That means that their yeah. leg could bend up this way. No, well, and I told you, they're hinged now. The joints <laughs> are hinged. I'm talking about kneecaps. I'm okay. talking about the so kneecaps. They have no kneecaps. Oh, really? kneecaps. They got hinges now. They got the caps. <laughs> Patricia, you just fucked us all up by saying that. I wonder That's if it's true, though. Can we look that up? Can we look at this? Babies don't have knees. Yeah, they don't have any kneecaps. They don't have any protection until about a year and a half. It's for poor little kids, man. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess that could be true because, like, the whole head thing. They don't not, ossify you know, till about that. They, they all come together the seeds because yeah. they're born. They're kind of separate. But there's Isn't it soft or something? There's, there's like cartilage in between the seeds. It's it like so perforated like three or four pieces. They come out with like a cone head, dude. It's so weird. My son did for like a few minutes because I was he was in my canal for like a minute. I was. Oh, on so babies much that drugs. first come out, they're ugly. Listen, as fuck. I was on so much drugs that, that <laughs> I didn't feel nothing. So he came out before they were ready to deliver him, huh? Three to five years before babies develop like knee bones, basically. Wow, like, we don't know cartil- shit, bro. We're, over cartilage. we're laughing at Patricia. We don't know anything. Like my son still doesn't shit. have knees. You're right. <laughs> 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 you are right. You are right. I got my kid. My son's wrestling. <laughs> Hey, from now on, so I come loud. Hey, listen to me. I have a five year old. Every time he tells me he hurt his knee, I'm going to be like, bullshit, you didn't have a knee yet, motherfucker. (laughs) You lying (laughs) bastard. You got phantom pain right now, you fuck. (laughs) You lying ass. You know about phantom pain, though. (laughs) I don't know. I've heard about it. Yeah, it's a true phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Some people become like amputated. Yeah. So they'll still feel like they have their limbs or they'll still feel the pain. pain, Yeah. Yeah. You that's what, what they call that phantom just limbs. Goes, that goes to shit. Well, phantom that's how your brain still your like, the, like the connections are still there electronically, but there's nothing. You lose there. your hand, you know, like something may happen, and you still feel like, oh, my hand hurts, but there's no hand there. But that just goes to show like how powerful your, your brain, brain is. is. Yeah. Imagine, imagine your hand. Same thing with phantom stuff. DNA. Look it up. Well, I do have first. a legit question. So I'm at this location. I'm at Rick's old house when it was Rick's old house. Before it came to Dr. Tyler, yes. Right, yeah. And Johnson Rose was having a party. They had a DJ outside, blah, blah, blah. I'm sitting, chilling, having a drink. And this motorcycle comes up, a Harley, with a man dressed as a woman with a blonde mm. wig, with a flower dress, a leather jacket, and some fucking... How you like, know it's a man? It's a man. He has the beard, the mustache, oh, the calves. I'll give it away. It's a man. <laughs> she, she just dead named him. <laughs> she just a straight man, <laughs> but in a woman's dress and in a woman's wig. Right. Pulls up in a Harley, parks the motorcycle, goes across the street to this other location. Were you like, Josh, come back? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what location was it? And I can't, I can't think of the name of it, but they, they closed it down and they're opening something else. So okay. it's across the street from from now Zako Takto. Next used to be June. called the apartment. Maybe something like that. Yeah. So anyways, I've been he, there. they have a patio outside. So he sits outside and he's or, he, she, whatever. I don't know the pronouns. I didn't ask the pronoun. Orders a drink. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A moment later, another Harley rolls up. It's a woman as a butch. Short haircut, capris. Like, her chest looks like she has a couple of bras on and with some duct tape on. Like, she's pressed. Oh right? Straight butch. I'm, I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm not yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. I don't have to be sorry. But You're just saying, well, yeah. So she rolls up, or he, she, whatever, rolls up in a motorcycle, mm-hmm. pops the motorcycle <laughs> next to the other first one, walks across the street, and sit next to the dude in the dress. The dude in the dress. So I think gay. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> if she's a woman, he's a man with this. Yeah. Which gender? Is, how does that work? That was, that, gonna, now it's normal. <laughs> I'm, I'm that's just like, bro. That's just no, I really, gay with I, so many extra steps. I don't get. I'm, I'm just trying no, to. No, like, it's actually. It's a gay, gay, gay dude. It's like being straight with a <laughs> lot of Please don't. This steps. part is not going live. This is for oh, our private oh, collection. It's all, know, there's no private collection here. We even have the sound of you peeing. Like, like, <laughs> I thought I put the water on. <laughs> oh, we thought that was peeing. When we become big and famous, it's going to be our bonus footage. <laughs> the bonus. You have to pay me big money for this one. Oh, <laughs> I might lose shit. my career on that one. You ain't losing your career. But, you got a new the, career with us. Right, right. That one. To answer your question, I think that's a. I guess it. How do I don't but they're they having like beers together? He's in a dress, she's dressed as a dude. He has a I wig, she has no hair, like a crew cut. So I'm like. Okay, so uh, maybe they weren't a couple though. Maybe they were just. But like, if this was how they were, Cause, well, because well, if they were, they then were, that's just were, weird. That's like I don't, not weird in the sense like it's just weird. Like it's just you're actually do, straight. Bro. That's what they want to do though. <laughs> <laughs> but you switch roles, but you're still straight because it's still because it's still heterosexual. <laughs> Yeah, some... It's not homosexual. It's not the same sex. As long yeah, as you know, kinda how we... at the end of the day, I want everyone to be able to experience, you know, an orgasm and be in love. Right. You know, I, I just see the issue of that. I have. Yeah, would you say that those are two different things, to... though? Yeah. Or, yeah. Obviously, yeah. dude. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah, because I can be love myself. Well, I'm no, some some if people depressed and I'm still love myself. I'm still jerking off. Like, <laughs> some people. I hate it. myself. Some people use it synonymously. You know, it's like. <laughs> nah, there's a difference. Absolutely, I Obviously, agree with you. There's a difference too. Imagine, it, imagine if, imagine if you couldn't orgasm unless you were in love with 
that person or that hand? Actually, well, and that's, and that's dope. Oh, so, yeah, the hand. No, not the hand. So wait, that person, yes. If you had, if you, if your body said that's the person you're meant to be with, and that's the only person you orgasm with, that'd be dope. So and many people cut all the chase out. out. So many people would be out oh, that depression. Chase. Fuck the chase. <laughs> You cut the chase What out. if you don't ever meet that person? You're, you're just going to be backed up with semen your entire you life, bro. Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> be my face is <laughs> 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 That's on actually it. why cancer exists. Because you're like, yeah, no, nah, these people... The, my face is fuck. all over. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, cancer doesn't happen that way. You just looking... For dogs, it does. Like, listen, I don't think that's how cancer works, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen. If you, do not, if, it, if you do not breed your dog, a male dog, Right, and he does not get to release his semen. That's how they become cancerous, and it's actually toxic to them, and that's how they die young. If you don't want to breed your animal, cut the nuts off so it doesn't backfire. And we're at that sounds like cool, but it is. Maybe I can't. What's cool is not letting your dog get a nut off. That's what's cool. Well, I'm just saying, like, okay, <laughs> you know hey, hey, listen, Fido, at least, at you're not fucking, like, so I'm just gonna cut your nuts off. Like, that's at like least double whammy. At least he doesn't have the urge anymore. At least he doesn't get the urge. Ooh, like, life sounds terrible with no urge to blow a load. Wait, wait, hold on. You don't get the urge even in your, like, so like if he somebody cuts my nuts off, I would still get the urge in my head. Not us. <laughs> the animal. Yeah, but you get those urges due to testosterone. So I feel like if your testosterone Imagine, like, is not, no is not no genitals or no like organs, organ, organ. What is that like, Josh? And... If you're, yeah, let me <laughs> tell you. I'm gonna tell you. And then watch your porno. Having no testosterone, bro, like those thoughts in that drive is probably gone. What so I think is crazy is like is testosterone saying, built in the nuts. What you're saying is um like some people cut off their dog's nuts so they don't you know whatever the case so is. So they don't stop. So they don't have that drive anymore. That's what yes. Beth did. Beth that's cut off her cat's nuts. Fuck balls. That's what um, makes them aggressive. We'll get to that in a second. It I, makes I them wanna, people We're gonna talk about Beth fucking with her cat's nuts. Oh. But, <laughs> Who's Beth? <laughs> that's my girlfriend. Not a good question to be asking right now. Um, <laughs> Why not? But then there's then there's on the, on the flip side. On the flip side, she cut her cat's nuts off. Got the nails and nuts. <laughs> on the flip side there are yeah, some the there nuts. are some dog owners. I had to think about it I'm like George you can probably nuts. find this somewhere it's gonna be a weird thing to search but you can pro- <laughs> look up <laughs> cut you, cat no. nuts there are some dude there are some <laughs> pet owners kidnips. <laughs> kidnips. there are some pet owners that actually like jerk their dogs off dude okay, no. hold, 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 hold I swear to god that's enough hold fucking on. No, no, listen, internet listen. for today what some owners will do yo you're so uncomfortable they talking about things it doesn't make sense they will take it to a vet to have it jerked off though that's what I'm saying they will take it it costs about 60 bucks you just have to understand what's going on in the world it's 60 dollars so you gotta pay somebody some people don't wanna pay this is a job Hold on, wait. George is filling out his resume. <laughs> He's what? filling out an application. <laughs> this is a job? Where do wait, I sign on. up, dude? I know people do it for breeding purposes. <laughs> not just the fucking, like, no, people hey, I'm be- bored. I'm going to jerk your dog It's off. not about being bored. It's because they, they understand. <laughs> they probably just understand what it feels like, <laughs> like to, not, you know, to need a release right now. We're going to put this on the pricing problem. list. We're doing, we're doing it with these kids that can't. Not like laugh your do- without your- talking about jerking off. Your, your dog's sick. We can give it some medicine. <laughs> jerk off. Look, he turns red. He's like, ew, gay. If it if it needs surgery, we can do that to your pet. And we're going to put this on the pricing list. Um, nice. You can jerk your dog off for 60 bucks. You have well, two nuts for half You have to think about it. It's a natural price. thing. I mean, $30 a nut. One nut. Thirty is the second one. Half price. <laughs> it, so- it sounds funny, but... That's like, just for breeding, man, right? No, it's not just for breeding. Think of you as a man, bro. Like You have what? to jerk off, dude. What? No, you don't. What do you mean? Do you jerk off? Okay, that's irrelevant. It's not irrelevant <laughs> at all. It's, uh, it's not irrelevant, bro. You, you jerk off, right? Why do you do it? Because you just need that release sometimes, man. It nah, is what it is. True. Like, dogs produce semen, too. Because you want to get it. You, you, you could release. 100% live without ever having sex, ever having fucking sure bust could. a nut. I mean, it Maybe would suck. Like, man, you suck. That would be a shitty life. That's one exactly. of the, the five, And some, the you know, some pet owners really care about their pets. They just don't want them to have a shitty life. <laughs> and bust a nut. <laughs> Hey man, I think it's weird, dude. Nut busting. I think it's weird as fuck, but it's a, it's a thing that people do. I want to look that up. I there was a, there's an that. article. You can find this article of a woman that lived with a dolphin for a while because she was like it was some kind of um like nature experiment. Where she had the dolphin living with her. Look this up, bro, please. She actually had. What do you say, women? Bro, can we go back? To her me? job was to. Well, it was a woman. Y'all are weird. Her was job it a white was woman? To, That's all I wanted to say. I think it was uh, like a 47% West African woman. 
<laughs> but her job her ancestry in Nigeria. Hey, oh, she was on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he said cheetah, maybe. He said cheetah, maybe. Dude, how, do you, how do you find these articles, Listen. by the way? I'll give you Just a better article. Just go to your history. Like, no, oh, there's no, no, no. a better article. No, no, no. Oh, there's a better start, article. Hold on. It started, hold on. It started out with her needing to do it for like, you know. Um, doing what? Doing Like science purposes. Yeah, science what experiment. Jerking off the dolphin, however you want to word it. A dolphin? A dolphin. Taking its dick, jerking it off. It's a dick? Bro. Cassie, what dolphin dick She ended up. How much did she have three yeah. fingers? Did she have yeah. the three fingers? Yeah. Or did she have the whole hand? Can I, I see that, please? Because I can just cut to the chase. I don't have to. My my search is over. <laughs> I'm moving to Google Florida. Google dolphin dick right now. <laughs> I'm Google dolphin dick. Google dolphin dick. You know, Bro, it's got fucking a, a dorsal fucking fin. That's, that's not what got weird. Guys, that's not where it gets weird. Where it gets weird. No, not the, not the, is that, not the jerking the dolphin off. That doesn't get Because weird. it was for science. But that science spirit, that science experiment had to end because she grew to have an emotional <laughs> and sexual relationship with the dolphin. So they had to separate that shit. Why? They were wait, like, wait, wait, nah, wait, wait, wait. bitch, you crazy. Like, why are you trying to mount the dolphin at this point? <laughs> What's the dolphin dick Flippers look like? over here just like... <laughs> got fucking dorsal fin on the dick. <laughs> She's riding the dorsal fin. <laughs> Just fucking twerking on a dorsal fin. Oh Do dolphins God. have blowholes? Because I feel like this shit can get crazy. Dude. Do- she was dolphin fucking. <laughs> she was dolphin fucking. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Sasha and I are going on a cruise I can't in even October. My story now. And I'm I can't wait to that. swim with the dolphins. I'm canceling the swimming with the dolphins thing. For her. I'm like, hey, For you her. ready to go? She's like, no, I'm going to stay. Dude, if, <laughs> if I'm ever down. Get- <laughs> On the sideline, pissed and jealous. Side Next time I'm at Mystic Aquarium, I'm gonna ask them. I just them. want that dolphin dick. Come. Huh? Can, can we see the dolphin dick? Like, put it up there. She, right. Two minutes later, she's just like, "Babe, can you do this for me?" Because <laughs> <laughs> she start laughing with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, fucking back. Oh. I want to know what a dolphin dick looks like now. I, yeah, I, I don't know how she. Yeah, George, yeah. did you find that or not? Did you see my video? Like, we have to know. Ago, like, show us, fucking. Show did I ever send that to you guys? And it's like. <laughs> Like, yes, you did. And then she came out like a big mushroom. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? Is <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? It's like, I, listen, yeah, what do you mean? The head of it was like, it was I like a never big mushroom. I never pictured a like turtle's smurf. dick in my head, but it was definitely not that. You it never was, pictured was, a turtle's was, dick in your head? Damn, yeah. It was just like, bro, it just came out like a little normal animal dick. And and it, it came out like this and like, like, like this. Wide, it went from bro. this to like this. <laughs> What? That turtle dick. Nah, come on. It was like, ooh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's a dolphin dick? It looks like a dog's dick. It's just like red and pointy and... Wait, what is that? Is that That's a dolphin, a dolphin dick. dick. That looks like a dog dick. Girl, looks like a... It's, a it's just like pink and... It's like a lipstick. It looks like it's own circle. You know what's crazy if you, like... You, obviously, we've all seen a dog stick. You know, like you come in and feed them, and they try to fuck your leg. A little pink dick comes out. No, not really. <laughs> but then you see that dolphin dick. The lipstick. Dick. They look pretty similar. Like, do humans have the weird dick? Like, all these animals have just See, humans, slimy dicks. It depends where you're at. Humans in this pod over here. It depends where you're at. All right, let's wrap this up. In this pod of world, <laughs> American culture, you circumcise the penis. Let's listen to the expert. <laughs> You all circumcise the penises here. No, wait. Is that American or is that That's religious? That's American. That's American. It's American. It's That's not American. religious anymore. Anywhere it's, else it's in the world, American they don't culture. circumcise their wait, penis. Only Jewish do it at 13. That's cool. But <laughs> well, it's cruel in at any age. Like, it's think, cool at any age. The act right. is very, You're very right. fucking... And we're you know, taught in school yeah, it's that the reason why they do it act. is to avoid like infections. That's because motherfuckers are not taught to wash their dick. Like, really? You have to like remove the foreskin culturally because culturally you all can't wash your dick. <laughs> like, what the like nah, we ain't doing that shit. <laughs> like really? And, and anywhere in the world they don't got those things. Like, nah, they they have the very, foreskin. It's, it's a, a barbaric tradition. You know, Jay said it perfectly. It's barbaric. It it's is. terrible. You know, now we are, we're, we're not muti- doing that shit. We literally mutilate a baby as soon as it's born. Yo. Because we don't want to teach my, them my how to clean regret. their dick. I don't think that that's the reason. I, if I would have, if I was conscious like I am now, then when I had my son, I would have never had him circumcised. Do you have that conversation with? Why did you have it done? I'm sorry, I didn't know you better, up, bud. I didn't know you different Cause, because it was like what a Mac routine. It's almost yeah, like oh yeah, he's scheduled for this. Oh okay, blah, 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 yes. That's why I'm saying it's not. We're not taught anymore. to think it's for just ourselves, an American thing. right? We're not as Americans. We're not taught to think. I don't for think ourselves. it's an American you thing because there's many. It's an American culture. There's there's many cultures that. Are born here in like Puerto Rican, yes. uh, but, Asian, but the hospitals impose hey, their practice. You, you have to speak up, and yes. if you if you decide not to, it's not the norm. No, if, if you, you decide not to, yes, then you have money yeah. because people that come here that are say maybe more vulnerable in population, 
that won't speak up because they're afraid of they don't understand their rights or they don't understand that you know for religious mm-hmm. purposes or cultural purposes they don't have to they don't know and they don't want to expose themselves because well, they whatever, don't know any better they're just going to go with the flow yeah hey, go ahead cut my son's they just think that because, because, because people are brainwashed think that whatever American says we have, are the greatest. We know everything. Right, we are the best. Fucking, that's bullshit. Of course it is. Yeah, we know that because we're here. We see what the fuck it really is. But someone who's here because that's of for, for work, asylum yeah. or for whatever it may be, they may just be like, okay, if that's what they say. Then my child's getting the best of the best. They okay. might just assume. They, they, right. I'm trying to say but yeah, yeah, because yeah. because of who's telling them this. Right. The shiny the white doctor of America, yeah, the shiny coming doctor. with a nice suit and like, this is what we have to do. And like, oh, let's cut his dick. It's because right. it's... All right, that's what they do here. Right? Cool. I, I think it started out, like what you said, I, I think cry. it started out as a like um, a religious thing, but it's not really tied to a religion anymore. You know, now it's just like, that's the American it's way. It's culture. It's more no, culture than American religion. way. It's not a religious way anymore. It's, it's the culture. Norman. I don't know. I want to take a fucking poll right now. You, you can. <laughs> the, the, poll, the poll is, is dicks. It, the poll is just go have kids, and you'll see that their standard procedure is don't like, hey, we're going to circum... And gonna my cousin told me this years ago because she married, or she's with a Dominican. Dicks Dominicans don't, don't circumcise, so right? Weird, and she was like telling me, oh, So wait, if they, if they don't circumcise, if Dominicans they, are born here in America, they're American, they, they they're more, They have a different confidence. So you're proving my point then. They, they have a different con- It's culture. It's a different confidence, right? That, it's not an American thing. No, it, it's the American norm. If you decide to be not norm. circumcised... They don't circumcise Dominicans. Yeah, that's, they don't that's outside the norm. Wait, hold on a second, though. You're saying, like, Dominicans that are born here in America are Americans, correct? But Dominicans that who are born here, who have Dominican they're culture, American. they don't circumcise still. The yeah. family has an influence. They have yeah, a anybody has but what I'm saying is that they're American. Say no. Can we agree no, that we're they're Americans? They're born that here that in America, people right? In America are American. Well, the kids okay. are Dominican, All right. the family so is not American. It's not American tradition. It is an it American is. tradition. It's a Western civilization tradition. How about that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. How about the Western civilization tradition? It doesn't matter what your ancestry is. If you're born in this country, you're American. Right? Correct. If you don't get circumcised, then that goes against what it's you're saying. It's an American tradition. If you go to the hospital, Culturally. they don't worry about what your religion is. Yes. But if you go to an American it's hospital, automatic. the doctor is going to just it's give you a it. Except for if you're Dominican? No, they have to speak the against Dominican it. You have to decline it. You say, no, 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 I'm all set with that. You have to decline it. If you it. say nothing, you get circum- your baby gets yeah, circumcised. Yeah, you have to decline it. You have That's to what, say, it doesn't no, matter what I'm all are. set with that part. You have to, de- yeah, you have to decline it, or it's like default. No, that's I, a good I, word to use. The default. I totally it's understand default. that. It's the default. It's the American. But I think default. you guys are miscategorizing. Yeah. So I don't like, think so at all. Okay. Yeah, shoot, if you're say, if you're saying you're Dominican and you're born yeah. in this country, you're not Dominican. You're actually American. No, if you, so the mother's Dominican, the father's Dominican. The ancestry is Dominican, here, right? But the child naturally becomes a U.S. citizen because they're born here. Correct. But the Crazy. culture, but the first the first generations, the influence is still that strong because the parents are still mm-hmm. No, I, I, I so totally they get, that. get the, So the, the parental influence is much stronger than the American culture influence, but, so, but the parents don't understand or have the confidence to speak up. Oh, you know, those, are those peanut M&Ms, y'all? Yeah, yeah. break those. <laughs> 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 Hemp beer? Hemp? Hemp. I've Actually, never had I'll take one of those. Hemp nah, beer, you continue with your religious nonsense. I tried this shit though. New Belgium, the Emperor. They used to call me the Empress. Emperor. Are we just like? I've never had one of those. Are we just giving like it, you know? I mean, have you had one of these before? This is good. I'm gonna let you know. Hey, hey, they didn't pay us. Don't do that. <laughs> right? Oh, they suck. Do you, have, do you have a bottle opener or anything? Yeah, you can't twist it. Yeah, but I do. It's not I don't twisty. Feel like Shit. Sorry, <laughs> I don't feel like dealing with all that shit. As in getting well, up. No, because I got He's got to move. It's in that no, drawer. give us a bit or something. Right, mm-hmm. I got you. But what I will say is that from what uh, someone, a male who is not circumcised, has told me that if you are circumcised, mm-hmm. your penis can't extend as far as it can really go. Its potential. Wait, so somebody that was uncircumcised told you his get, dick was bigger than somebody that was circumcised. Can get a full extension of mm. the... Of wonder why he said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, I, you listen, see, he's like, hey, you see the way my dick is? It's bigger than everybody else's. I don't know, else's. I've never seen his shit. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you, I wouldn't tell you. I mean, it does make sense, you're removing some skin, yeah. so the it skin is, would hold it back, I don't know. Yeah, something what about it. What the fuck? I don't know, I'm trying to find do you have like a, anything, a spoon or a lighter? Oh, you go. have a bottle opener. Why do you have the pliers? He got, he got a fucking Swiss <laughs> Army like... knife in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, just in case he gets attacked by a mountain lion. I just feel like fucking going be in there. Hey, you gotta move, get in the drawer and all that fucking shit. Bro, you never use a fucking drink bottle beer, but I'm gonna drink it today. It's a weird one. It got me nice. Thank you, sir. It's a weird bottle opener. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Right there for you. No respect. 
Cheers. That's all right. Like Does it really? Is a it smoother one? A smoother one. one? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it's like honey. I swear, like I, I, I'm supposed to be on like, Adderall. I'm supposed to be on like all this other shit. But I'm like, what? I don't even take Tylenol. It's I won't so even take medicine either. If, I, if I'm sick, shit too much. I'll take Kaleido Silver. I'll take a you know a, a gummy or. I think a, everybody should smoke herb. I'm everyone serious. should smoke herb. Then I was making like, studies on like heroin addicts and whether her herb could actually help them come off. Of I think their everybody should have the right to smoke herb. I don't think everybody should smoke it. Yeah. I think Not everybody everybody no, should. I agree with you on that one. Yeah. And I, if, if you do, and if you understand that, like before 1940, herb and heroin actually. We bring that conversation. Was it the it number one right. prescribed? Herb was a number one prescribed medicinal element for cure. But you used to be able to get, get heroin in the 30s and before. That created a lot of sicknesses. But now it's, you know, the shit that's going on right now is because it is what it is. But most of the shit that we take for medicine, like those opiates, they're all fucking crack. At, like regulated dosages. Well, not only that, but I mean. That's all it is. Most of the over-the-counter fucking drugs that we take. Number one, see, people are under the, the idea and, and perception that these medicines cure you. They're a band-aid they approach. And all they do is it's they a band-aid approach. It's a band-aid. They, they make you yeah, comfortable. Exactly right. They and, bring and that you know fever down, exactly. but the infection is still there. So, like, if you're if you if you have a cold or something, and you got that phlegm, and you're coughing up shit, blah blah, blah that's your body fighting off the disease. Yeah. And these medicines yeah. actually to make you feel comfortable or stop mask that it. or mask it. Yeah. Yeah. They they stop yeah. that natural process of your body fighting off the you're disease, right. and you actually become sicker longer. You're right. For and the you sake know, of comfortability. And you know that marijuana is the number one best expect um expectorant. Expectorant. Anytime you know myself or the kids, um you know, have a headache or whatever the, like, first of all, you are you joined? hydrated? No, no, no. Yes, are you hydrated? hydrated. Yeah, that's number Drink one. as much water yep. as you can. How much did you, you and then yeah. did, how much did you sleep last night? I would exactly. go back Hydration to the sleep. And sleep. Yeah, uh, that's So big. a specific example is, and, diet. and I feel like, you know, we, we oh, in this country, we over Oh, hold on a second. Did I ask for M&M's? Yeah, 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 right, yeah, right there. Gra- grab them. No, don't grab them because the crunching and the chewing and the pie is not. Oh. Yeah, I know. I don't want to tell you no to the M&M's. All the noise we're making and like this this episode is noisy as fuck. It's cool. But you don't want, you know, chew gum and eat and it's not a good look. Um, but like a, a friend of ours, actually, I, I, we might all know this person, but just, you know, mentioned recently that they were off antidepressants. Now they're going back on them after a pretty short amount of time because they, you know, they can't deal with it, whatever the case is. Yeah. I personally know this person. Yeah. And I know this person, you know, it doesn't eat as healthy as they could. Yeah. Doesn't really exercise. Doesn't exercise. Doesn't do all these natural things. And I feel like as a doctor, when somebody comes to you and they're like, hey, I'm depressed. I know that sometimes medicine does help people. You know, like sometimes we need medicine. It's there for yeah, a reason. Yeah. Scientists develop medicine. For acute, you know. Hold on. But, but I think Certain doctors things, yeah. should first say, hey, how can we naturally fix this? Are you eating right? What's your diet? Let's make these changes. Doctors are not trained do that Do this way, kind though. of exercise. And if you're still feeling Cause depressed it doesn't make them after all this. Exactly. Then we go and do, you know, then we move to It's not to preventative. Medicine. Medicine. So, the health but system the, is on. not preventative. Because the problem is when they yes. do that. They're not getting any kickback. They're the, they're exactly. not making any money from insurance right. companies. Exactly. You know? They can tell you, hey, go run yes. around the block, and okay. I'll make nothing, or I can give you this drug that might do something, and I get a Such kickback. And I get paid off from the legislators, and I get yeah. paid off from the company. That's and why I insurance off. companies. And Let me tell you something. That's yes. why it's so important to listen to podcasts like this because you get true official medical advice. And if you're feeling echo. depressed, is this like a run. sound effect when he says podcast like this? Don't take like an echo. What's an antidepressant? Don't take, uh, Zoloft. 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 Don't take Zoloft. Don't take Zoloft. Buterin. Go run. Come hang out with Prozac. us. I guarantee. Well, you hang on. out with Jay and I I'm for a few, and you won't be depressed. I 150 percent agree take with you. Like, try with to take you. George's depressed as fuck. Depression is gone. Hang out with us. <laughs> Like, there are George natural like, ways to cure depression and stuff, but there are you know some what? real you, serious ate, cases. You no, know, let me say something. If you ate an, a handful of almonds every day, that would regulate your, sol- te- your sol- te- serotonin levels and help you battle that depression. You know what's great for depression? Pecans, too. And also... Pop. Put sex? Why are you afraid to say it? Why are you making <laughs> that face? I don't want to say Orgasms. <laughs> Whatever releases that fucking dopamine. <laughs> I love Patricia's like that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? The S word. Because you about to get slapped by a girl. <laughs> no, she knows that I'm only having sex with her ever. Perfect. Love her. That's exactly how yeah. it should be. Let's talk about relationships and monogamy and all that. <laughs> no, thanks. No, I'm just <laughs> 
<laughs> let's let's talk about that. Can 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 people? Can human beings really maintain monogamy? Can they yes. be monogamous? Can they be truly happy? And I how yes. do they achieve that and be able to block? When they are on that, what, temptation, or are you what is about it? Lust? Are you what is about uh, now, now, and swear, add in the variables as technology, access, Try all that shit. Mm-mm. Nah, girl. <laughs> nah, girl. <laughs> what up, George? <laughs> <laughs> so, so go ahead, Do you Jay. think it's attainable? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll risk it. <laughs> I think it would take like the perfect fucking like lineup like to, for it to be a team I, 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 I was gonna say the same exact thing that's a good way it's to very it's difficult like, like you the stars have, have to be fucking aligned I think perfectly you have, I think you have to have lived a life and a bullshit a bullshit <laughs> to like just to like, be like no, I, I give up now I wanna be without <laughs> wow. like I think you've had to have your ass whooped in something or you had a personality that you fall in love with the right personality that just like because there's nothing else they say doing. biologically scientifically your yeah. body and every single cell of you Changes every seven years. Well, so I mean, like, definitely a you know, I believe construct. that because you know your your immunity change, your, your allergies change, change, everything all that, that you change. like changes. Yeah, I so I mean, like, that, that can even apply to I your even spouse. I don't fucking know which one I want to grab. So That's you so. Saw that, right? You know how weird that is? Is as a kid and even as a young man, I hated mushrooms. I, still I do. didn't like mushrooms. I cook with bro, them. But now I love them. Now I fuck with mushrooms, bro. Yeah. I put them on my pizza. Onions, I, I have put to them cook on them. Caramelize. I put them on my fucking. Put, put them on, on my dick. Like, I put them on my omelet. I put, put them, them in my underwear. That fungus among us. He got fungus on his dick. I don't know about that shit. Listen, that listen, sounds like some fucking BV. Ugh, a weird ass inappropriate thing to say. <laughs> For the record, you circumcised. I can attest. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fungus on my dick. Like, hiding the fugitives. <laughs> that's gonna be the title of this episode. There's no fungus on my dick. Your dick looks like Obi Wan. Fungus among us. So that looks like Obi Wan Kenobi. It looks like fucking morning fucking mushrooms. <laughs> Anywho, but no, back to to <laughs> back to monogamy. I think a little pig in a blanket. <laughs> I think um in a fuzzy blanket. In a fuzzy blanket. Yeah, I think it's a social construct. You know what I mean? Like it, it's a cultural thing, monogamy, because naturally. No. If you have, to, there are urges. You know what I mean. Like, oh, think scripture about, think, says, yeah. "Be fruitful and multiply." Hold on, think about monogamy With for a person. second. Think about like being faithful <laughs> to somebody. You know, like you, a lot of times you hear like, "Hey, you have to resist temptation." Yes. So temptation is a natural urge. Yes. You know what I mean. So naturally, your body and, and your self yes. wants to not be monogamous. You know, it wants yes. to fuck this and fuck that. Like, and fuck like it. lions, like animals, like animals. So I think, are you talking about males? Or are you talking about females? I'm talking about humans. They're both the same. They're both the same. Women are fucking much more. <laughs> at a faster rate than men. She's like, no, they're both the same. But then you have to Women think. are like taking the throne right because we feel in ourselves for some reason. Taking for every reason. Something. You ain't taking the throne, you're taking something. Taking <laughs> I don't know. Some men have don't have their walls attached. I'm not so well, <laughs> anyways, like I was I saying though, oh, Lord. So I, I think it, it goes against like your natural instinct, but then I also feel like both arguments kind of work. You, you could say it's a cultural thing, like in yeah. America, because other parts of the world practice polygamy. But you could also say that's what separates us from animals, you know, <laughs> is the ability to consciously... Discipline? Yeah, like discipline, you know, like um, withhold or deprive just ourselves. stop doing something just yeah, like, for the sake of... Don't stop. don't react on basic, like, animalistic instincts. That's the reason right. why, like, if you piss me off, it's not okay for me to just, like, choke you. Or if well, that I brings up another off, question. It's not okay for you to just punch me in the face, you know? Do, like, do you look at the human race as just being another, an extension of the animal well, kingdom? We are. We, we are. are. We're a much that. more advanced... We're a much more advanced animal. You know, like cognitively See, I, I, and mechanically, I dude, we are. Like, yeah. it doesn't. I mean, you I can think you whatever mean. you want. You know what I'm we are. We will buy it. We're living things, man. <laughs> huh? Animals. AI. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, are you AI? What? I don't know. I, 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 I think. That, so, see, like, I think there's no. a huge, huge, huge difference between us and animals. There's such a gap. I can't even. Well, like, we have a higher intelligence. What's the, well, what's the gap between us and dolphins? Dicks are beating you guys um, are all fucking. Our dicks aren't. Pink. I saw the pictures and you all got a shot next to the dolphin dicks. <laughs> I'm, That's just right. saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, like, George pulled up the fucking data yeah, and I saw. They're, they're really and you all a fraction of the cost. That's all I'm gonna say. They can, <laughs> hey, you all just need to shut the fuck up, Ray Paul. Now you all be talking shit. I will find me some fucking fins. <laughs> find me a what? dolphin. <laughs> She was like, I'm shit. done with men, yo. I'm dolphining for now. I'm moving to SeaWorld. So, are you like heterosexual or bisexual? Nah. Dolphin, dolphin. 
Fuck like, in fact, I actually like Dolph Lundgren Dolph just because. Dolph is safe, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> I knew me into the tuna can. <laughs> what the fuck, Patricia? God damn. We should have just talked about politics if you were going to go this deep. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and, you know, like, dolphins have a really advanced system of communicating with each other. Right. And I think if they, if they're, if they were designed mechanically like us... They would probably be just as advanced as us, you know. Like if they had a whole bunch of water, of course they would be. <laughs> it's such a fucking. I'm just saying. So when you say like, what separates us from from animals? You know, like what There's makes tons of difference? <laughs> Twelve inches, bro. Have you seen New York City? Like what the fuck? You ever seen? You ever seen deer make New York City? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen, you ever seen, an seen ant a farm? fucking platypus? Have you ever seen an yeah, ant farm? Bro. You ever seen a platypus build fucking Hong Kong? Oh <laughs> platypus is such an interesting word, isn't it? <laughs> like we're up in space, fucking like there's a huge cognitive difference between us and animals. Yeah, like, so far apart. Right, right, right. To even like say that we're, co- I mean, like we're still we're all we have similarities, beings. but yeah, of course we do. We're mammals, right? E- well, even uh, between let's say us and monkeys, you know, like the people like associate us so close. Bro, we're so fucking far from them. Right. Like, if you, if you see a monkey make a tool, like you're like, whoa, holy yeah, shit! Yeah, no yeah. shit. You know what I mean? Like, fuck, man. I, like, just I don't won- see monkeys building size skyscrapers. Like, I won two <laughs> games of Fortnite yesterday. And nobody bats an eye. Like, <laughs> that's impressive shit. I want to see a fucking monkey make a pancake before I give him any credit. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, they're Where's they're on the way there? though. You know, we talked about it before. They're fucking. You give them a little currency, they understand prostitution. Oh my god! So they they're not too different from us. She's like, oh my god! <laughs> Don't act like you wouldn't fuck no monkey if you fuck a dolphin. Like she just wasn't talking about. <laughs> I fuck a dolphin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Too much fucking like bacteria, like all that water around. She said, "Oh my god!" Right? Like she wasn't just talking about dolphin dick. She, she said, "Oh my, you say that? You kiss your mother with that mouth?" <laughs> you suck that like yo, you were just talking about dolphin dick. What are you talking about? <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. We're gonna get but did you see the, the picture of the dick? Yeah. <laughs> did you see that? It was kind of weird, too. It, it was really like a, was. It like a slug. It, lo- it did. Patricia screenshot. It's her background on her phone, dude. <laughs> like, did you check uh, this shit out? I'm going to make a dolphin dick my profile <laughs> oh picture. Oh, my God. On all social media outlets. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, yeah, guys. This has been fun. I think we're calling thank it. Patricia, you thank me. you. No doubt. Thank you for coming. Yo, we'll do it again nuts. sometimes. Oh, my God. I think you're a natural. You know, we had a lot of fun. We gotta bleep some shit out though. Yo, I'm gonna be out of the bus. right in the forefront of the editing. Trust hey, me. Like, like, well, well, <laughs> hey, like I said, if anything goes to shit with your career, just call us up. We got you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Uh, that was a real fun episode of the podcast. And once again, we're brought to you by Division Street Auto. Division Street Auto, whatever you need for the vehicle, whether it's engine, transmission, go check them out. 595 Division Street in Pawtucket. You can also thank. Onlyville Tires for sponsoring the podcast tonight. Their address is somewhere in my notebook in front of me, but I do know you can find them on Facebook. Shout out to Dory. Mention this podcast. You'll get a free tire pressure gauge checky thingy and a pen. Also, thank you to AJ Plaster for sponsoring the podcast. Check them out also for whatever your drywall needs are. New home, renovations, acoustic ceilings, wherever the fuck that is, and whatever else you need. Last but not least, Top Showroom Gallery. Any LED and older lighting needs that you might have, wall sconces, um, chandeliers, landscape lighting, indoor lighting, outdoor lighting, under cab lighting, fixtures, whatever you got. Uh, if you can't make it to the store, call them up. They'll come out for a consultation. Other than that, we want to thank all of our sponsors. Thank you for listening. Thank you for Patricia. We had a great time tonight. You were awesome. Shout out to Dolphin Dick. Have a good night, guys. Bye. <laughs>